Ja, ich bin rein. Okay, what's up, guys? Uh, <clears throat> sorry about that. That I still have a little problem when I'm using this programming. Uh, still learning it. But uh, as always, how's everybody doing? Um, it is March 26th. Um, and uh, I'm here again for an open mic Q&A. Basically, we hang out for a while, answer some of your questions. Uh, we'll talk, we'll chat, we'll ch have some fun. I am rock. I'm wearing my my uh, one of my shirts that I got from Awesome Con, as you can see, my uh, Cowboy Bebop uh, Gorillas type shirt. This is off their their kind of a homage to their Demon Days album, which I like. I thought it was cool. Um, so yeah man there has been a lot i know there's probably going to be people that's going to be asking about what did i think of uh x-men 97 and you know things like that did i see ghostbusters yet no i have not seen ghostbusters yet um i'm probably gonna go a day where i can go back to back and watch ghostbusters and uh godzilla and uh in kong um i'm looking forward to both watching both of those movies but I have not seen any of those yet. So, yeah. Um, so this should be pretty fun. Let me make sure the comments are up. What's good, everybody? I see people coming into the chat. Um, that's good to know. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button, please. Uh, I usually don't say that, but it, it would be if you do. Um, so I look forward to hearing uh, what you guys need to ask me and things like that but uh yeah man let's uh let's let's have some fun uh if you see me kind of munching i apologize if i do eat uh on the side but uh yeah let's uh let's kick this off have some fun and we'll kick it for an hour or two and uh I'll answer some of your questions no dumb questions please i'm, I'm just messing with you guys uh, <laughs> i'm sorry uh so the biggest thing that happened um, this week, uh, March 24th, uh, was my 42nd birthday. Uh, I am now the big 4-2 uh, Jackie Robinson number. Cool. Uh, got a, had a little cake and was with family. It was fun. It was good. Um, and... I got it from family and then I got it also from coworkers. So I had like three birthdays, <laughs> three party back to back uh, from, from like my job and my family. So it was, it was, it was a good day. Um, but another year, uh, thank always thanking that I'm lived, lived to see the next day, always uh, to see the next uh, what's to come in this game called life right uh so yeah uh this should be uh very interesting i appreciate everybody who sent, sent their birthday wishes uh thank you very much i appreciate that it's not my birthday now it, it was the 24th which was sunday uh it wasn't it wasn't uh it's not today um it's funny because i have a lot of family members that have our march babies it's just the funniest thing. It's like I got two cousins that are March in March. Uh, and then I have my mother. She's in March. And and then my uncle is in March. Uh, and his, his birthday is coming up soon. And two days, I believe. Uh, and um, I think it's another cousin. I, I 
think it is another one of my cousins. Uh, but then I got a couple of friends. Um, my friend Victor, uh, he his birthday was the 26th or the 25th, excuse me. This is right after mine. And then I got another friend, uh, Jeremy. His birthday is tomorrow, I believe. I, I think it's tomorrow. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, it's crazy how many March, but it's funny. So check. So it's funny to think about it like that because I share the birth month of my mother while Malcolm, my brother, shares the birth month of our dad. So it's really, it's funny. It's kind of, it works funny that way. Um, and then, and then, and no, also, and also another one of our brothers, uh, actually shares, uh, December with, uh, each other. So Malcolm and I's older brother who passed away, his, his birthday is also in, in December. It's December 28th, 29th, excuse me. Um, and then of course, then there's my brother Cedric, uh, whose birthday is next month uh april 13th so he would be 41 he would have been 41 uh so he's he would have been a year younger than me while my brother aj our older brother would have been he's two years older than me so uh it's kind of funny there would have been four brothers in us get that you, you see what i did right there it would have been four brothers actually uh if they lived instead of just two there would have been four brothers uh, and, I'm, and that's a good movie too. You should go check that movie out. If you never watched Four Brothers, I recommend it. Really good movie. <laughs> um, so what else? Uh, the, the fourth Bad Boys movie uh, trailer dropped today. I like it. Um, I liked it a lot. It was. It was. It was. You could just see the chemistry between Will and Martin Lawrence has never have never stopped. I I haven't enjoy. I've enjoyed all of them to to the most. Um, this one is interesting because now it seems to be that they're playing off that maybe Captain Howard, who who died in the third movie, is on the take. But clearly, that's that's some BS. We all know that's BS, and you know he they they got to clear his name. Um, no, it's it's still funny because I the one thing about the Bad Boy movies I, I've always said this, and, and my brother knows this too. I, I remember we always would talk, and I'd be like, you know. I would have loved to see uh, Tia Leone come back, uh, maybe just cameo as Julie, and and just to see what she's up to. Like they never thought about doing that. Um, I would have loved to seen that too. Um, that but now with Mike now has a kid that well he didn't even know about, and I know there was some people that actually um, commented on like that and said they didn't like that. You know that Mike had a kid. Uh, that he didn't know about I, I don't mind that you know and it but it, it gave us a lot more damn it I dropped my phone uh it gave us a lot more um uh, in depth into I like the whole fact of like now we know why Mike dresses the way he does like who kind of taught him that you know and things like that but it, it still it still was interesting to see you know I thought the third bad boys was great I that was probably the strongest if I was ranking them, um, it would be one, three, then two. Um, I didn't hate two. Uh, I just felt it, it. It felt like a completely different movie altogether. That was, that was the one thing about uh, Bad Boys Two, the second one that I, I ju it just felt so different. It didn't even feel like a sequel. It felt like an entire different movie. But. Uh, it's good to see them back together. It's good to see, you know, Will, you know, doing, doing movies again. You know, I know, I yeah, I understand what happened, and I, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't encourage what he did. I thought, I think it was really stupid what he did to go slap a man on national TV and at an award show, but he made a mistake, but that he shouldn't be canceled for that, you know. He's he's I guarantee you the movie's still gonna do great. I mean, he's still a money maker. You know, he's still and I'm looking forward to even seeing the the sequel to I Am Legend. You know, um I've been recently watching a lot of uh YouTubers who uh react to movies for the first time and seeing how people enjoyed I Am Legend and I Am Legend uh 
you know they they watch the original theatrical version they don't watch the so anytime they watch it i always write in the comments like you should check out the alternate ending or the controversial i don't know why it's called that what was so controversial about it i i don't know but um and that's the the ending that they're going to do the sequel they're taking the alternate ending where he left with uh anna and went up to the compound up in i think vermont or so so yeah i do like i am legend uh because really i am legend is is a movie where will is pretty much acting pretty much by himself he there are no other actors in that movie outside of maybe the flashbacks but when it's in modern time it's just him and the dogs samantha and yeah it was really sad it's, i i don't care what anybody say like when i hear people say like that wasn't sad like he had to kill samantha like she got bit by those those infected dogs and you know she was turning i i i nah i hate that <laughs> i just that's not an unpopular opinion that's just a stupid like you, you, you that dog was like the only thing he had and it's like it's like and me and my brother was also talking about it too once before we were like the closest that we saw to that in reality in new york city was during COVID. um there was a gentleman who went on he, he went live on i believe it was twitter or instagram and he was just filming how dead it was in times square times square that is always like a popping tourist site in general it's always popping down there take it from a, a native a new yorker himself saying that so when you see it's dead and you can hear the wind blowing through the city is that was scary i was like yo that's scary that's a little scary so that was the closest to what we got in I Am Legend, in a sense. Uh, but yeah, I mean, like, like, but like I said, looking forward to the Bad Boy uh, Ride or Die. That's what it's called, Bad Boys Ride or Die. That's the fourth movie. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. It comes out in June. I think the last one came out in June. Did the last one come out in June? In January. Yeah, January. Yeah, last. So yeah, it's this is going back to a summer movie. That's good. There's another movie with uh, Henry Cavill and uh, Alan Richardson, and it's another Guy Ritchie movie. I like Guy Ritchie's movies. His movies are fun, and um, um, it's they say it's based off a true story, which it's loosely based off. But uh, I'm looking forward to that, uh, and I'm looking forward to Annabelle, the with the little little. Ab what say Annabelle? I mean, hey, Abigail, Abigail, uh, with the 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 um the vampire, you know, uh, little girl vampire who starts stalking this uh this group of people who are I guess trying to kidnap her, and then they find out that hold of her ranch, and then all of a sudden the the whole mansion goes into lockdown, and then you find out why it goes into lockdown, and, she, and the fact that when she said, "I'm sorry." And it's like, sorry about what? Oh. And she just vamps out. It's crazy. So, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I'm looking forward to that Guy Ritchie movie with Henry Cavill and all of them. Uh, that looks fun. Anytime I can see uh, some Nazis getting their asses beat up, I'm, I'm great. Uh, I'm, I'm cool with that. So, yeah. <laughs> that That's going to be a fun movie. I, I've been watching the trailer. And I love that they use uh they use uh they use um uh what song they, another one's another one bites the dust i'm like yeah i love that that's good that's good shit right there i love that uh so yeah indeed uh so let's get to some of your questions and uh, i'm looking forward to hearing what you guys got to say and i will shout you guys out uh so, can all you guys give me a thumbs up just in case? So you, can you hear me? I just want to make sure you guys can hear me. Um, just want to make sure people can hear me. I don't. I don't feel like I'm getting a because I turned down my little my background music. Uh, 
So, yeah. There you go. All right. Uh, yeah, okay. Everybody's saying they can hear me. That's good. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right. All right, so we got Quentin Blake here. We got Cyborg Andre, uh, Warhawk, uh, Travis, Cartoonish Claude. I that's an interesting name, cool. Um, Caroline, uh, so yeah, all right, so let's see what's going on. Okay, uh, let me see, where are the comments? Damn it, get their comments. Okay, let's see, <laughs> let's see what. Uh, okay. Did you enjoy your cake? Uh, I had a I had a piece and I did like. Yes, it, it was good. Uh, yes, uh, it's not finished, yo. Um. Uh, do you think Spider Man and John Tobin would be good friends if they met? Uh, maybe. Uh, they probably it probably a. Uh, lead into a fight first but yeah i think he would <laughs> happy belated birthday thank you warhawk i appreciate that do you think uh gohan could beat emperor mark grayson in a fight I try not to do fights between Dragon Ball characters and comic characters because they're <laughs> a little OP'd. Did you hear about the Baltimore Bridge Club? I just heard about that. Um, a, fr a friend of mine from who lives in Baltimore, um, he he showed me, and I was like, and I saw the, and I actually saw. That's crazy. And I heard some people got hurt. Um, that's messed up, man. That's that's really messed up, indeed. Uh, the Baltimore Bridge uh, collapsing like that. That's why I'm, I'm not. Look, I live in New York. I don't live in the city, but I live in New York, and I've been over many of those 23 bridges in New York City. I've been over the Brooklyn Bridge. I've been over the George Washington, Tappan Zee, all these. I don't like being on bridges as long as long as we're moving. I'm fine, but if we got if there's traffic and it stop, I hate that. I no, I'm like, keep moving. Let's go, 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 go. I get nervous on bridges. I I do. I really do. And when I saw one bridge that was actually swaying back and forth because just the wind, fuck that. That's why I, I I would probably be scared to go on the Golden Gate Bridge if I ever go out to San Francisco. I'm like, nope. Like, like, move. We got to keep moving. Mm -mm. You know, that's why I always feel like bridges need to be reinforced over time. Like, no matter what, like, you got to reinforce them. You know, constantly do make maintenance on it. Like, cause you, you never know. You know, even if they're made of stone, stone crumbles. Uh, metal rust. Come on, you got to, you got to, you got to do that. Um. Uh, so yes, indeed. Uh, so my thoughts and prayers go out to the people um, who that happened that during happened there. Uh, cartoonish Claude, thoughts on the quiet on the set, Doctor. I have not watched it. I have been recording it. I am gonna watch it though because um, a lot of that stuff. A lot of you know, you know, I I'm I grew up with Nickelodeon. You know. I'm a child of the '80s, but and I remember all the old shows from Nickelodeon, and I and I a swimmer. I knew that guy. I remember, of course, I knew him. And to hear that shit that he was doing, that's just fuck, yo, come on. I'm like, yo. So yeah, I'm I am gonna watch it. I know there's there. I think so far they've done four episodes, or they're gonna do a fifth episode. But I am gonna watch it. I I am gonna watch it. Uh, they're COVID. I don't work for three months. Up. Uh, Claude, have you heard of the anime Big O? Of course. Of course. Again, uh, again, uh, Cyborg, you forget who you're talking to? Like, you forget who you're talking to, bro. 
Um, of course, I know Big O. Basically, it was like Batman mixed with with a uh, Gundam in a sense. Yeah. So yeah, of course I do. Uh, if you see me, guys, like I said, if I'm if I go off camera, that means I'm eating something. Like I, I don't think so. Quentin Blake, you asked me if you if you have wait let me see. if you had wait make sure I can't tell uh let me see. okay Quentin Blake okay if you have the genie if you, if I had a genie what would you wish for uh. I'm, yeah, I mean, there's our rules. Even genies have rules. Like, you can't bring people back from the dead. The first thing, because that's the first thing I'm doing. I'm like, uh, bring my mom back. Like, I want my mom back. Like, can you bring her back? Yeah. Uh, so the best thing I probably could do is say, take me back to the years that she was alive so I can see her again. Uh, that was definitely something I would do. Wow. I wouldn't try to play God with a genie's powers and the, and it also you got to remember in most cultures especially in that that culture genies are not all good they call them the gin that some of them are scary okay um Seth Seth uh, Seth Rollins outfit looks stupid yeah, Seth is um, yeah, Seth, Seth, I don't know what he he thinks he's doing. You know, his wife dresses better than him. Becky Lynch dresses much better than him, and I can't. I gotta go get her book. I know her book came out today, so I'm gonna pick up her book. I am a Becky Lynch fan, um, so I am. Do I think she's going to win at WrestleMania? I hope she does. Because I know everybody likes Mommy. And I like Rhea too. But when you look at the, the whole scope of Rhea's championship run. It's not very good. And it's not. And that's not on her. That's not on her. That's on the booking. And how... They have not truly built anybody up. It feels like a credible threat to Rhea. Becky is like the only one on Raw. You know? So, yeah. Um, are you looking forward to the next episode of X-Men? Yes, I am. Uh, I saw a little teaser of what's coming next. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, X-Men 97 was great. Uh, it was like it was like it was like me growing up again. I became that that ten year old boy all over again. When the X Men original original series came out in ninety two, I was ten years old when that came out. So, and that show gave these characters a voice. So that's why a lot of people. That's why when people ask me when I'm reading like comic books who's who what voice do i hear out of some of these characters when it comes to wolverine i hear cal dot the original og you know wolverine that you hear now that that's the voice i hear i don't hear i don't hear um scott mcneil who voiced him in x-men evolution or steve bloom who who's done a great job but i don't hear that i hear cal dot with that strong canadian accent i hear that i'm like yep that's that's what i hear so but yeah, the, the the first two episodes are great. They did they hit so many stories. If you are an avid X Men reader and you read book, all the comics and stuff, you can pick out every storyline where they picked up. It. There's some people out there that don't like that they're teasing a Magneto and Rogue relationship. Well, let me tell you something. That is true. That happened. That's not just in the Age of Apocalypse storyline. No, it happened in. Them natural in the real the 616 universe 
when the X-Men were in the Savage Land, there was, um, it was during Uncanny X-Men numbers 269 to 274. It was a little, little fling going on between them. And yes, Magneto can touch Rogue without her when she still couldn't control her powers. Now she can touch anybody she wants. She could she could touch you just like that and no problem. That's why I love the fact that they they Rogue is able to now control her powers now. But yeah, back in the day, yeah, she couldn't. So I don't mind that. I love that they they acknowledge Storm as an Omega level mutant. They put now they're doing the whole Storm without her powers stuff. That happened in the comics. Um, but she didn't leave the X-Men. She stayed and led them without her powers. Um, but here, they she, she left. Um, and then the ending of what we saw was another Jean. Now, people have been asking me constantly, who's the real Jean? I say, the Jean that came through that door? That's the real Jean. The gene that gave birth to little Nathan, a.k.a. Cable, that's her clone, Madeline Pryor. And so we're going to see, uh, we're going to see that. So that's going to be cool. Uh, indeed. Um, I don't, I don't know what everybody's big deal on Morph. Morph has been great in, the, in those two episodes alone. He was great. I love how he just was using... Uh, he makes and i tell people shapeshifters usually make people people especially uh who, who have powers they use them better than sometimes they're real people like look at that scene where when they fought master mold again and and uh gambit charged up wolverine's claws and what did he say yo more bubble up turn into blob got down and boink and blew, and then blew up his i was like that's perfect Nobody does tag moves like the X-Men. I don't care what anybody says. Nobody does tag moves like the X-Men. The X-Men are masters of it, and it works. It works. Um, what I love about also what I loved about that that um that episode, or just in general, look at when they were fighting the the when they were fighting the the, the Sentinels. They got to show things that a lot of people, for example, Beast. They there's a lot of people that forget Beast is not just the brains. Yo, Beast can throw down. Beast is super strong. So when you saw him just lift that sentinel up, look, flip and tripped it. I'm like, yeah, he could do that. And then he he commandeered it. I was loving that. When you saw Bishop basically got Gambit's back. Like, remember in the original series, he wanted to kill Gambit. But here, the sentinel about to shoot him. And what is Bishop pushes him out the way? takes it and shoots it right back i was loving that i'm like that's the teamwork the only thing i do have some issues they're nitpicks but it seems to be like the creators are somewhat maybe forgotten the original series because this is not a reboot this is a continuing of that the original series the one thing for example Ju they de-aged jubilee because you go back and watch the original series at the final episode, Jubilee looked more like her, how she looked in Generation X. She was a little older. She wasn't wearing the goggles anymore. She just was, her hair was just long. And I'm like, well, they kind of de-aged her. They, like, why did they de-age her? And then this, this whole concept of Professor Xavier is dead. Again, this, because I know this series back to back, guys. Xavier's not dead. Remember. If you remember, Lalandra took his body because Earth technology couldn't save him. So, but Shi'ar technology could. He's not dead, but somehow they I, I just I find that weird that they're pulling that. I'm like, I, I and I thought about. It. I went back and watched the episodes again. I'm like, wait a minute, he's not dead. He's he's alive, but he's in the, with the Shi'ar. I'm like what, 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 what's going on? That's why I always found I'm finding that weird. Um, let's see. Okay. Um, I want I want to make this comic called 
Okuma. Okay, go for it. Uh, uh, Seth, I saw that Seth Rollins looks stupid. X Men. Uh, I want to make this comic book. I, I, Akuma versus the Ninth Gates. Well, you would have to get permission from Capcom to use Akuma in general because that's that's their property. You just got to remember that. Uh, Becky versus Rhea should be good. Two great female wrestlers, not to mention the two biggest female draws in WWE. Yeah, I mean the the Becky match, Becky and Rhea is should be good. And as of last night, you know, you know everybody's like, oh, the Attitude Era is back after we saw, you know, what 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 Rock did to Cody. Is I mean, I will say this is probably the best interpretation of heel Rock. This basically, I kept saying. This is what he should have done as Black Adam. Me and my brother was just talking about this. We were just like, yeah, this is what he should have been like with Black Adam, you know. But no, the Attitude Era is not back. Stop, stop with that. It's not back. It's just, a, you can clearly see that, yeah, because of Rock's position, he can kind of maybe get a little leeway with certain things. I mean, go back and watch that. The only thing you could hear him actually saying was, look at you now. That's other than that, he was just cursing and cursing and cur- they USA was in overdrive on that because he was just cursing. But a lot of people just like the fact that Cody never laid a hand on him. And I even I'm like, Cody, fight back. Like, so next Monday, Brooklyn, Cody better come out, not like a diplomat. He better come out to fuck shit up. Like, I'm now I'm, I'm gonna get one of y'all. I'm gonna ta- I'm gonna tag you back. You know, I, I hope so. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm I'm liking what WrestleMania is is looking at. It's, it's looking pretty good. Um, I'm, I'm hoping for some things. I'm hoping I'm hoping Bailey wins. Um, I'm hoping she wins because it, it would mean a lot. I mean, Bailey Bailey is as good as the other four horsewomen, but it's always she's always the the. The bridesmaid and not the bride. She always gets left behind in a sense. But uh, I, I don't mind this. I, uh, me and my brother was talking like we may, we kind of sense maybe a heel turn for Bianca. You know, it, it could come down to that if, if WWE. Well, not because I think most of that was because the old man, he ain't there no more. He always wanted, he never wanted Bianca to turn. He didn't want Bianca to turn heel. So, uh, but we could see it under, now under Hunter. Yeah, he may say, like, okay, let's let's do it. It would make sense because it, it would be like, you know, Bianca's like, well, what the hell? Like, everybody cheering her now after what she did to me. You know, you can, you can pull the you people <laughs> act. Like my brother said, it was it's pretty funny. Like, but yeah, it's, that's usually always, well, you people, you this and that, so but we don't know um jade is now going to be on smackdown um jade cargill uh that's that's fine and maybe that's what it's leading to maybe she and bianca are going to team up and probably take the the tag belts from eo and oscar after one i heard oscar was hurt but she 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 looked fine to me um Will Sammy beat um beat uh uh Gunther uh, uh my uncle and my brother says I hope not and I I don't know I think Gunther has held that belt he's held he's held the Intercontinental title uh, honorably because he's the the real best champion in WWE right now. He hasn't. He's never cheated. Well, well, well now let me rephrase that. He's never had interference. Well, now let me change that again. He's never had people come out like Roman to help win his match. You know, only one time that's happened, and that was with him and Jey Uso, and he didn't ask for it, but he. he but yeah. Um, that was uh, something. Jay and Jimmy, uh, I, I, my prediction: Jay wins. 
unless they I I have a feeling Jay is gonna win. I, I hope. Cause Jim hasn't Jimmy hasn't done nothing to render a victory over him at all. You know, just it it's it, it when you look at the scope of the them, it's like Jay went off, he left the the, the he left the cult of the bloodline because that's what that's what all it is that's all the bloodline is is a cult it's a goddamn cult and like any cult any cult you all you gotta the bet who is it quickest to indoctrinate into your cult family right well he was able to break it he goes off to try to be himself and he gets over he's over big time and now and then here and what happens to jim he goes running right back to the man he kicked i'm like how that doesn't make sense where's the logic in that where's the logic in it there's no logic but he's with them he, it's just ridiculous and solo 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 just uh he just a follower too just a follower too I can't with solo, man. As for the match, the tag match, I have a feeling they're going to lose that. It's going to be um, Bloodline Rules, date night two. Um, And a lot of people, but I have a strong feeling we're going to see two people come and help to even the odds uh, in that. And because I have strong belief we're going to see John Cena and Stone Cold. It's just, it, it, I keep thinking about it and after a lot of other people have said it, I'm like, we might see that. We might just see that. So yeah, I'm looking forward to WrestleMania. Looking forward to it indeed. Can He Man beat Dog? He Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Come on, come on. Andre, hey Chris, would you be interested in seeing the new Beetlejuice? Uh, yeah, that's the other movie. The new Beetlejuice? Of course. Of course I'm going to go see that. Of course I'm going to go see that. I love Beetlejuice. Michael Keaton back as that character? Come on. With, with Nona Ryder back as an older Lydia and Jenny Ortega I think is playing her daughter. That's great. I'm all for that. And then you got um, back as her mom. I'm forgetting. I'm almost forgetting her name. Uh, but yeah, I, that you got a lot of returning faces, which I love. I'm definitely going to see the, the the Beetlejuice as well. Uh, I wish they brought back uh, Ecto Cooler during the hype. Yeah, I remember when they brought Ecto Cooler back for a, a short while. And I found it. I picked up two cases of that thing real quick that was when i was growing up and that was everybody would want to trade their drinks with with you if you had ecto cooler i see they're like oh can i get that i'll trade you and i'm like no i used to i i used to never trade it but there were people that did i was i never traded mine I, i'm ah, ecto cooler that was uh that was good times See, someone bring brought up Ernie Hudson is seventy, and uh, is fifty four, uh, and they look good for that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they they do. Paul Rudd, Paul Rudd is fifty, fifty four, and Paul Rudd don't look like don't look like he ages at all. And go back and watch some of his earlier movies. Go back to some of his early, and you like look at him there, and then look at him now. It's like. Outside of the facial hair, he does not age the fucking bit. 
Ernie Hudson looks great for his age. He looks great for a 70 year old man. And I, I just look at it. I like I always say, black don't crack. That's that's the best way to look at it. He looks great for his age, and I love that. I love the evolution of Winston I, in in the the Ghostbusters universe. I love that. Like he's the one that funds it. Like after Ghostbusting, he he became like a pretty lengthy businessman. Like that's great. I love that. You know, he's the one that owns you know ray's bookstore i'm like yeah that's great i, I love that if you go watch the, the the um the first the the uh um the other movie the first before this one and you see the end where janine is talking to him and she's like you know i'm the one that hired you and all and i love that i was just like that is so cool to me it's just it's great to see because for someone who grew up with ghostbusters and you see them and you still see that people still love these characters. I love that. I love that so much. And to see to see the evolution of this franchise. I mean, once again, it went from 84. That's when they came out. 84. And then the next movie didn't come out to 89. Yeah. So it was like seven years later they did the sec second one. I didn't hate the second one. I know there's people that don't really like the second one as much. I didn't mind it because that was actually the first Ghostbusters movie I saw in theaters. My dad took me to see that. I was I was too young. I was only two when the first movie came out. And I didn't see it until I was like six. And by that time, you know, the, the cartoon was already out. So I was watching that. And then when I saw the movie, I'm like, why is Slimer acting like that? You know, because Slimer was... You know, in the cartoon, he was different. And I was like, why does he talk? Like, uh, you know, um, so yeah, um, I, I, I'm I, loving the the greatness that we get with seeing, you know, the last thing. I mean, yeah, it, it is still, excuse me. Yeah, it still hurts that Harold Ramis is not here. You know, Egon's not here to, to be here with, see how, where the franchise is going. But don't get me wrong. That in that last movie, when they, they his ghost was there and he was talking with the uh, that I can I'll tell you right now, that made me cry. I cried my ass off. That I broke down, you know, and just saying, you know, we miss you and you know we should have listened to you. It's just hearing them just just talk to him and and then of course him. Him hugging his grandchildren and his his daughters, like that, uh, that's that's always going to get me. That, it, I get, I, I'm a very emotional guy, guys. Like that stuff will always make me cry. It always going to get me. Uh, let's see, Caroline. Do you think we'll we'll uh, we'll revive other Marvel? I hope so. I really do hope so. That the um the success of X-Men 97 revives other Marvel cartoons that maybe didn't get a proper ending or you just want to see, you know, what's going on with those characters. The main one that everybody keeps talking about is let's do a Spider-Man 1998, you know, um, the Spider-Man, the animated series, you know, that is in the same universe as X-Men, you know, and in that, it didn't have a proper end. It, it this the finale ended with Madam Web and Spider Man going to find the real Mary Jane, and it was like that's it. That's that's how you're going to end it. Now I read that there was supposed to be a, a another season where they do find Mary Jane. They find her living in. Um, she's surviving in 1800s London, like during. The industrial period like during that time or like when jack the ripper was around and um cletus cassidy carnage was gonna be the jack the ripper of that era so i was like oh that would have been interesting so so that's where the, the series would have picked up um that would have been cool to see like how mary jane gets is getting around living in the 1800s of england you know so yeah i mean I would have loved to see that. I mean, there's, there's, 
you know, there are uh, uh, there are uh, several X Men, you know, uh, original series. I mean, X Men old Marvel cartoons that I would love to see. I mean, I would I wouldn't mind seeing another uh, the Fantastic Four from the '90s, uh, season three of that. Uh, maybe the Incredible Hulk, the Incredible Hulk. I I, I talked about it. Incredible Hulk. I I would love to see maybe maybe X Men Evolution. Even though X Men Evolution had a proper ending, and we just you just saw the future of what was to come. Uh, Spectacular Spider Man is definitely up there. I feel like that needed a proper ending. It didn't get it. It ended on a cliffhanger. Uh, I would love to see a, a proper Avengers cartoon that has nothing to do with the movie. You know, X uh, Avengers Earth's Mightiest Hero was great. I didn't like how it ended though. I I think they rushed Galactus. They did. It just so yeah. There there I there are a few. There are definitely a few. I would love to see. Uh, do you think? Oh no, okay, Andre. So Chris, how do you think? Uh, Marvel's what? Uh, Marvel's Earth would handle an alien refugee crisis, uh, essentially when an actual friendly uh, alien civilization decided to live on Earth shortly after their planet was destroyed. Uh, I, I think they would be okay with it because it kind of reminds me of uh, when the Asgardians brought Asgard down to earth when it was in broxton oklahoma it was over broxton oklahoma and it was up on it it was leveling off the ground you know i, I think they'd be fine with it uh hey chris uh happy related birthday marion it's not my birthday anymore related related uh x-men two clone war music yeah yeah that's that's it's the when you're climbing up the going up the temple that's my favorite theme. And it's the one theme I it's I use it because I, I won't get uh copyrighted for it. Um Travis. Baki and Kendra. Yeah, that's coming. It's happening. We're gonna see Baki and uh Hagen um uh, throw down in a, a fight on Netflix. I'm I'm that's crazy. My friend showed me that. I was like, no. And then they showed me that the trailer was real. I was like, oh shit, it's happening. Um, uh, Chris, uh, Marion asks, hey Chris, uh, in your honest opinion, what do you think would happen to Darth Sidious, Darth Sidious' plan if something happened to Anakin, and how would you think he would react of losing Anakin? Mm. Well, he was cold, and part of me is like he'd probably just try to find a new somebody new. It's like, oh, he dead? Okay, oh, um, yeah, but I could find somebody else. That's that's how villains act. Like, no, nah, they no. Nah. Uh, Gunther had done everything he need can do with the eyes. Um, yeah, he 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 put that belt back to where it needed to be. When I was growing up, again, back in the eighties, that was the belt, and even in the nineties, that was the belt. That was the belt that had some of the best matches. You can go all the way back to the eighties. When the Intercontinental Championship was on the line, those were some of the best matches, and it also, it also was, it was getting that person ready for the championship belt. That's how all the guys saw it, and you look at all the past Intercontinental Champions. What happened? Most of them went on to become the main champion: Macho Man, Brett, Sean. Uh, Edge, a Triple H, Stone Cold, uh, 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 Mr. Perfect never did. I wish Mr. Perfect, uh, held the, 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 uh, 
the championship belt. I think he would have been a great champion. Uh, uh, Ultimate Warrior, he held both belts. Um, so, yeah, it, it was great. You know, it was great. And, and, and as far as I'm concerned, like, he actually, Gunther has a real record. He has a real record. I, 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 I have no, I have no, I can't get over the fact of how much, um, uh, how much they, they try and make Roman look like he's, he's, it's like, wait a minute, how is, how does he have that much? Because are you counting the universal title or are you counting the WWE world title? The same belt that Bruno San Martino had and things like that. It's like, yeah, if he's universal, then yeah, he's been longest. But now they're talking about, oh yeah, he's he's on the cusp of beating, uh, taking Hogan's record. What record? What record? There is no record. The record is Bruno. He ain't beating Bruno. Gunther has it. He beat Honky Tonk Man. And as far as, man, look, that's all the Honky Tonk Man had. He had that. Now he don't have it no more. That's all he had. He's, he was the longest Intercontinental Champion, but he's not anymore. Records are meant to be broken, yes. But I, I, I can't get over some of the people that would be like yeah Roman's gonna break he broke he broke this record he, broke. he didn't break anything he didn't break anything who did he break what record did he break what record once again the record is Bruno and you know how long he held that belt eight years yeah you could say oh it was a different time fuck that still he held it for eight years eight years Roman's not doing that, and and as far as I'm concerned, look, I I Roman he I got nothing I don't hate him, but and he made that deal. But the fact is, I'm tired of this company now, especially on SmackDown, with absentee champs. You know, he comes when he wants, and nah nah, nah. that the belt should always be there. You hear? You feel me? Like, I don't mean that the champion needs to wrestle every night, but he should be on the show. And Roman's not there all the time. And the same thing with the Interco the United States. I'm like, you, you, you put it on <laughs> for what? Logan Paul for what? Hopefully, I, I don't think he's losing it, but uh, hopefully it, it'll go to somebody who deserves that. For, as far as I'm concerned, the person that deserves the U.S. title would be L.A. Knight. You know, give that to him. Because he's gotten cold as of late. Um, Happy belated 42nd birthday, uh, Chris. Thank you, Perry. It, it, it's not my birthday. It was. It's, Sunday was my birthday. So, but thank you. Uh... Hey, Chris, this is another one from Andre. Uh, would you read a comic story about a dysfunctional family of ex-cons who accidentally become superheroes after discovering pieces of a... Yeah, there's a there's a, um, there's a comic kind of about that now, about a family of villains um, that I'm reading. It's under Godhood Comics. Check it out. It's called The Antagonists. What X Men character could beat a Voldemort? <laughs> Which X Men? There's a couple. There's a bunch. There's a bunch of them that could. Voldemorts are strong, but I I laugh every time I see them put um, put Omni Man versus Superman. I'm like, Superman would rock Omni Man. They're not near and vulnerable he can get hurt you know superman is near godlike omni man's not that he's not and there's plenty of x-men that could easily 
Professor Xavier could turn all of them off real quick. Be like, so, you know, I'll make y'all think y'all little kids. Let Rogue, let Rogue touch one of them. Okay. There you go. I just took your powers. What you gonna do now? They're, they're, they're not in bone. They're, they're not, they're not as, they still have weaknesses unlike Kryptonians to a degree. Once a Kryptonian body absorbs the yellow sunlight, they, they're they basically gods, godlike. And there's only a few things that can really hurt them. Superman is way above, you know, I just, I just always laugh at that. Like, who, who couldn't, who, there's a bunch of X-Men characters that could. Uh, Caroline, do you think we'll see the Mutant Massacre? I was thinking about that. I was thinking about that. Um, I was thinking about that not too long ago. I, after, I was like, I wonder what else stories will they bring up? Because they're, they're pulling a lot of 80s, a lot of 80s stories from X-Men. And I'm like, will we see the Mutant Massacre? You know, will we see that? I doubt they will. You know, because a lot of that involved the Morlocks. The Morlocks are now on Genosha, so who knows? Um, Quentin says Marvel might bring back Spider-Man from the 90s. Yeah, they probably call Spider-Man 1998. Uh, with X-Men, they said, could we possibly see Spider- Yeah, I, I just talked. We just, we just said that, Barry. I would mark out if Austin stuns Rock if... I'm, I'm, there's a strong, there's signs that he might be there because somebody brought it up to Solomon Monster last, uh, 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 Monday when he was doing it, when Cody was getting rammed, he saw, uh, Cena and Stone Cold. And I'm like, I didn't even think about stuff like that, but I'm like, it could be, it could be a sign. Uh, Steve can take a bump, so it's not like he can't take a bump. We all know he can, but you just Steve's getting he's 60, he's 60 now, so it's like good. Uh, favorite storm costume? Uh, well, favorite storm costume? Hmm. Favorite storm costume. <laughs> well, I kind of I, I I dig her costume costume now. I dig that. I like that look that she has now currently. Uh, but I've always loved her classic look. But I'm a big fan of her mohawk. I, I that's why I'm so happy she's rocking the mohawk. You know, my least favorite costume is actually her her the costume she wears now. That the silver. I don't like that too much. I really don't. Uh, uh, did you enjoy Street Fighter 6? Yeah, I did. I have it uh, over there. Uh, I can't wait to play with Akuma. He's coming back. He looks older now. I like that they're they're aging their characters now. Akuma looks old. He's got gray hair. I'm like, oh, he looks older now. Okay. Uh, what was your reaction to seeing Cyber... For the first time in X-Men comics. Well, I saw Cyber in Wolverine comics, not, not X-Men. Um I, I was interested. I'm like, whoa, this guy is this was this is the guy that puts fear in Wolverine. I'm like, this is the only guy. I was like, this guy does? I was like, not Sabretooth doesn't put no fear in Wolverine, but this guy does, and then you see that his his arms are adamantium like he has adamantium over his skin and i'm just like okay but after a while wolverine got over him and he, he ain't scared of him no more but he used to be he used to be. i was like this was they and they hyped that up the one guy that puts fear in wolverine i'm like okay uh a lot of the rich and famous have access to great health care yeah yeah I, I, yeah 
Uh, Angel Garcia. Hey, Chris. Uh, I'm sorry I'm late to the stream. How are you? I'm good. Uh, my question to you is, are you a fan of Lord of the Rings? I, I don't hate Lord of the Rings. I, I like it because of the fantasy the aspect. I'm a big fantasy. I do like Tolkien's work, um, but I'm not the biggest Lord of the Rings fan. Like, I, 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 I couldn't tell you, like, all the stuff, like, I can for, like, like comics and stuff like that. Like, but I, I like, if you were to ask you, like, who's my favorite character, like, because I, I like any, I like archery, so anybody with archer, I'm like, yeah, okay. But I'm not the biggest fan, you know. But I respect it. I, I like that it's got a, le a legacy. Uh, nice cowboy beat up shirt, by the way. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's basically I got this at uh, Awesome Con uh, this year. I was at I was in Washington, and basically it's, uh, it plays off of the Gorillas album Demon Days, so it's really cool. I like that. Uh. Out of all the Wolverine villains, who do you think inflicted the most physical damage to Logan and why? Uh, uh, Sabretooth. <laughs> it is Sabretooth. Sabretooth. Saber. Hold on. Sabretooth, of course. He, he comes every year on Wolverine's birthday just to fuck with him. Just to fuck with him, just to let him know, like, like I'm, I, I always will come do this. It's in the whole concept of, you know, Silver Fox is say Wolverine's uh, old girlfriend. What did he do to her on his birthday? He raped her, right in front of him. Right in front, he raped Saber, Silver Fox. Now they didn't show that in the movie, of course. They, they're not gonna do that. You know, they ain't gonna show. You know, they'll never show that. They'll never show her getting raped. And even when they did, I mean, first of all, it, when, in the comedy, that's what I call Wolverine Origins. The comedy, they they fuck Silver Fox up anyway because they made her a mutant. She's it. It wasn't. It wasn't acknowledged if she was a mutant. There was. There was maybe signs that she was but they never showed her powers but I hated that that whole fact of yeah she was playing Wolverine but it, it did turn into something more that that typical trope I, I that trope always get used but she was after her sister and who is her sister Emma Frost I'm like what the fuck that, that's why that's why Wolverine Origins it's just ridiculous. The amount of time that guy was on his back. Have you read Seth Rollins wanted to produce an animated Venom movie? What? Seth Rollins? An animated Venom movie. Okay. I find that weird because... Seth Rollins has never shown any kind of signs he he is a comic fan. He ain't never shown any outside of maybe a a few things, but that's because those became like you know popular. But when you look at people, when I look at a lot of uh, the wrestlers, I can tell who is a real fan and who's like maybe just. For example, Ray Mysterio. Look at a lot of his. Ray is a fan. He's a comic reader. You could tell. Since, since when he debuted. Look at his Halloween Havoc. Look, you don't know what that costume came from. Yeah, he was the Phantom. He was the Phantom. He, he's done Captain America. He's done the Joker. He's done. He's done the Flash. He's done Spider Man. He's done a Batman s. Uh, Edge is a is a comic reader. He's he's even said it. Like he he's always loved the darker heroes. Um, Johnny Gargano is a, is a Marvel head. He's a legit Marvel head. I mean, he not even just the fact that he named his his son is named Quill after Peter Quill, but yeah, you could tell. There are certain people that you could tell that 
out of professional wrestlers that are comic fans. Like, for me, it's funny. She probably is not one of them, but Becky, to me, she looked like Black Canary now when she be coming out with that leather jacket. I'm like, she looked like Black Canary. Or Becky Canary, as we say. Um, But that's weird. I, I <laughs> Okay, Quentin. Uh, I see... I just wish I just see I just saw Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey to today is better than the first one. I can care less about those movies. That's look, I I have no in in intrigue or interest in watching those movies. Uh because to me it's like this is the problem of what happens when something becomes public domain. Then they people just oh we got an idea let's let's turn a child friendly character into something horrible. They're doing that with Peter Pan. He's he's in that. it's like okay. Um, what was your reaction when Magneto ripped uh, Adam and him out of Wolverine's body? I was I was a little shocked. And I'm kind of shocked they it took that long for him to do that, you know. But yeah, I, I was like, whoa, you know. It was said that Wolverine was in so much pain when that was happening. His body, basically, his his healing factor went into overdrive and it shut down at some point. And it was Gene basically that had to kind of hold him together. That's how bad it was. I'm like, Jesus. Shows ending on cliffhangers are never cool. No, yeah, no, yeah, that's true. I don't like that either. Um, Perry axes. Uh, Freddy Fazbear Pizza or Krusty Krab? Which one would you hate to work at? Freddy Fazbear. <laughs> I hate to work this. Like knowing that these fucking things are gonna come that come to life. You crazy? I'd I'd take Krusty Krab any day. Like yeah. Uh, um, Angel. Did you know that at one point a Daredevil animated series was in development due to uh, how well it received? In yeah, I do know that. There was there was a not just a Daredevil TV series. There was a real Daredevil video game that had nothing to do with the Ben Affleck movie. There's there's images of it too. You can find it online. They, they'll show it. It showed how his radar sense was going to work. It was going to be like open world. I still think they, they should do a Daredevil game. It could work. Carlos Reed, what's up? What up? Big middle age, yeah. Enjoy the comics. Uh, thank you. Uh, hey, Chris. Are you a fan of... Beast, Beast Stars on Netflix. I don't know what that. I'll check it out. Uh, you 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 read the Star Wars Infinity comics? Uh, no, I don't. The last Star Wars, excuse me, the last Star Wars comic, the last Star Wars comic I just picked up is right here. Actually, uh, it's called uh, damn it, uh, Star Wars. Visions, if I can get a good look at there, uh, it's like it's the it's basically samurai in the Star Wars universe. Uh, uh, thoughts on Harry Potter? I don't mind Harry Potter. Um, never read the books. You know, never read any of the books. I I would see them all around when I was young, and I'm just like, who is this? 
but I, I watched the movies and you know I I like what I saw and you know, I give all those kids all those kids credit because they practically grew up in our you know around it's great to see you know them now as adults and it's like wow they you know we actually literally watched them grow up you know and you know that's, that's fun to see I, I don't mind Harry Potter no Harry Potter Harry Potter, you know, you know, you're a, you're a muggo, Harry Potter, you know, you know, it's, it's, it's fun. The movies are fun. Um, they were fun. I saw Godzilla minus one in black and white, and I got to say it's better than it was in color. Uh, first of all, shouts out to minus one for winning that award. Winning the award for best visuals, um, that meant the world to me. Because it, when I was growing up, you know, I had, when I, I would never tell like friends at school that I was a, a fan of Godzilla because they would make fun of me for it. They were like, "Oh, you like that stupid stuff?" You know, oh, he's a big lizard, dinosaur a guy in a suit that just destroys stuff, and I. And these are the same kids that like the Power Rangers and stuff. I'm like, you know, now wait a minute, like, how are you going to diss Godzilla? And those are guys in suits too. And so, so this was this win basically showcased like for all the people that hated hate Godzilla for no particular reason. I mean, this character has been around for over 50 years. You know. Um, yeah, King Kong is older than Godzilla, but because King Kong came out in the thirties, I believe. Correct me on that. And you know, Godzilla came out in the fifties. It, it all made sense for Godzilla to come out in the fifties during the atomic wars and stuff. Yeah, because that Godzilla was the what, what? What? What's Godzilla? The results of what? Nuclear. Basically, it's that it, Godzilla is the fear of something coming out of the water due to what what the atomic wars did and that still is kind of scary to this day like like some seeing something come out of the water that and then just go wrecking havoc now godzilla they have given him more of a purpose and stuff and i don't mind that you know like he's a force of nature you know when nature's out of balance then he rises and i i like that I like that approach that they've done in the monster verse for him, you know. And they're, they're not disrespecting him. He, they 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 just they just did something a little different with him, you know. He's the protector of nature and stuff like that. I'm like, all right, cool. I like that. But yeah, I used to get picked on because I used to like Godzilla. They'd be like, they'd be like, yeah, you like that, like, you know, yeah, I like that, you know, I do, yeah. I never said it, but I remember, I was like, wait a minute, but these y'all like Power Rangers and 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 those old Super Sentai shows, like, there's a guy in a suit playing the Megazord or the monsters, you know. Will Capcom ever give us another Dark Stalkers game? I hope so. They, they. I watched a. Tra I was on. I was on my Instagram account and and uh, I looked over and they and it looked like I'm thinking, oh my god, new Rival Schools game. And then all and then just it was just a a it was just a a a a. a phone game is for your phone i was like man <laughs> they should at least have the champions cut promos every week yeah um again the warhawk yeah you make a lot of sense like i said they don't need to wrestle they don't need to wrestle but at least be on the show Uh, who's the best telepath in comics? 
that's tough because there's so much range of telepathy not telekinetics telepathy there's a different telekinetics they can move things with their mind telepaths they can read minds or something like that you're imp so that's tough you know people will say professor xavier's up there gene's up there you know i'm a frost is up there um you know but then you got people in, in dc john 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 people forget john you know john is a good telepath so it's hard to say very hard to say um and uh angel says i found out today that there's talks that justin lynn the director of the most recent fast and furious is is being considered to direct spider-man 4 do you think this is a good fit spider-man 4 and uh in the marvel universe uh yeah i don't know also happy really birthday sorry i didn't that's fine <laughs> Eh, we'll we'll see. I don't. I'm not sure. Uh, could Akuma take on the Lin Kuei? Absolutely, he could. <laughs> he would welcome that. Uh, what are your thoughts on Tony Todd's performance as the voice of Venom? What I seen, I was not surprised. Tony Todd is a great voice actor. He's a great actor in general. So he's always had that voice. That voice is just. I think. You got Seth Rogen and Seth Rollins mixed up. Seth Rogen, what? Oh yeah, I'm. Yeah, so why do you put? Yeah, I'm think. Yeah, I'm. Exactly. I'm like I ain't never hear Seth Rollins. It's it's Rogen. Yeah, thank you. I we'll, we'll see. I don't know, Marion, because I still haven't played it. I you, I. Until I tell you guys, unless you see me post a video or post a photo on in the community feed of me with the PS5, then you'll know. But I haven't. And I refuse to watch gameplay of it. I'm not watching it. Liquid Death. Uh, what do you what do you want? to work who would you want to work for benson or mr krabs or j jonah j uh jj all the way i'm trying i'd end up punching benson myself i i'll take benson to like oh you, you don't come back out uh, you're uh, you're fired fired from what like like for example like i remember when mordecai and Rigby, yeah, they were they were on their lunch break, and he basically said, yeah, "You don't come back, you're fired." Like, no, you're entitled to a lunch break. You're entitled to a lunch break, so you get out here, man. I'd, I'd, I'd end up getting you'd be calling the cops on me for Benson. I'd end up cracking him big time. Like, like I remember when when Mordecai did punch him, I was like. <laughs> he deserved that. He deserved it. Nathan, uh, hey Chris, uh, happy New Year, happy New Year, Nathan. How have you been? I've been fine. I'm pushing along. Uh, Andrew, who's your favorite Spider-Man actor? Not limited to just the live action or actors. Um, okay. My favorite, my favorite Spider-Man voice actor, let's start with there, is, is, um, Josh Keaton. Uh, I like Josh Keaton when he voices Spider-Man. Um, I also liked when, um, Neil Patrick Harris voiced Spider-Man. He, he, his work, well. Live action, um, for me personally, I'm going young Mr. Holland. He is everything you want. He's the great, he's the best combination of what you want. You want the funny, jokey side of Spider Man, he can give that to you. You, you want 
you want the 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 you want the, the smart brainy version of it he can give that to you as well problem what i had to most degree was in the last fight don't get me wrong i give toby his credit he he was the foundation but he was there were points he was just way too serious as spider-man Andrew Garfield, I give a lot of credit to. It's the little things he did. And see, this is just somebody who was a New Yorker. But he pulled off that New York accent. He pulled that Queens accent off. Well, it was the little things he did that made me like, okay. Yep, there it is. Give him, give him his respect. So yeah, um, so those are those are my favorite um, in terms of Spider-Man. Carter, Peter, uh, Mon I don't know who they are. Uh, no, nah, I don't care. Monty Burns on it. Oh, Jesus. None of them. <laughs> Are all super serial teams so different and yet the same in your opinion? Uh, not really. You see, to me, I okay, here, let me use an Here's an example. Here's an example. Is the Justice League a legit team no they're not they're not they're still they still act as independents that's the difference between them and let's say someone like the fantastic four or the x-men those are teams the x-men are like family but it's a team fantastic four family and a team power pack family team there's different there, there are differences like when i look at when i look at the the justice league and let's say the avengers the avengers are more of a team than the justice league are they are much more of a team than the justice league are because they're they're the justice league still acts as independence and most of them, most of them are like they they're heroes that all can be on their own superman batman wonder woman aquaman green lantern joe uh, uh flash john uh martian manhunter uh, green arrow all, they're all independent they all yes they all came together to fight a threat but at the same time they're mostly all the same and and that's what the avengers come together the whole purpose of the avengers to fight the fights that not one superhero could fight themselves. Okay. But they train together. They they actually have group sessions together to learn how to work together. Work off each other. I mean, hell. Even in, in, it, it, when it comes to the Justice League, who's, who's like... There really is no lead. Like, there is no real leader. And if anybody says Batman, he is not. He is not. If somebody says Superman, no, he's not. It's, it's not. When you think about the Avengers, who do you think of as the leader? Captain America. Because he is. The leader, Captain America. Yeah, you could say now, Carol, you know, she, but when you just think about the Avengers, Cap comes to mind. And, it, and it's a rightful choice because that man will you can find people he can get the most arrogant a lot of people say it all the time like the, the fact that people way stronger than him will take his lead will follow him into battle that just shows the mark of a leader that just shows it you know that shows how good he is as a leader you know he, and it's hard to say no to him too it's like it really is <laughs> um 
How long would Akuma survive nine gates of hell? He, 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 he it's, it's not even a case of how long. It's how much would he enjoy it? Uh, should Sean? Yes, Sean should return. Um, because they seem to be de aging him. But I uh, forget, like the Street Fighter games are. It's weird the way they categorize it. So, um, have you any memories watching cartoons and eating cereal? Hell yeah, hell yeah. Saturday mornings was always that for me. I get up. I get up way early, but right way early before cartoons start. Go downstairs, get a big bowl, pour the cereal in there, pour my favorite cereal, whatever it was. I mean, it, it, for me, it was, I mean, growing up, I mean, Mr. T cereal was like my favorite. <laughs> Which it was, all Mr. T cereal was was Captain Crunch, just with teas. Um, and, and then, of course, Put milk in there, and and then I just sit in front of the TV, and for the from 7 a.m. to five hours straight, just all the cartoons I would just watch, and that went on for a long time, a long, long time. And even as, as I got older, it, it became that. Now there ain't no cartoons really on Saturdays mornings, so I was just, I can't do that anymore. It's just you know, but I remember those days. It was just those are good times. Uh, if Tony Todd voiced Mumra, I would love it. I I would love it. I'll I'll take him as Mumra. Uh, did you you ever hear? You ever have a lunchbox when you were a kid? Yes, I did, Caroline. <laughs> I had lunchboxes. I I had a Transformers lunchbox. I had a He Man lunchbox. I had a Thundercats lunchbox. I had a Silverhawks lunchbox that also had the thermos. I had, uh, you know, I, I had all that stuff. Yeah, I had lunchboxes. It was, it was, it was great. It was good times. Good times. Uh, thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, keep saying uh, hit the thumbs up, but I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Did you like Battletoads? I I do like Battletoads. That sh that game is so fucking hard. <laughs> I don't I don't think I've ever beaten Battletoads. Mario that game. Uh which is scarier? Batman that's smiling or Spider-Man not talking and why? Ooh, uh They both are scary. They that that is scary. Um but I would say Batman, Spider-Man not talking is scarier because it's like he's pissed if he's not joking and something's up. Like he's he's on he's in a different mode now. Uh, Angel, I'm glad you have Tom praised. To me, he's my favorite version of the character due to how much i relate to him in so many ways but most people who talk seem to hate this version of I, uh i've heard some people like don't like tom holland uh but he he is he is everything he is the great combination of both toby and andrew you know what was the what was the most thing that people would say about you know the, 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 the in, in the spider-man he doesn't joke he doesn't crack jokes he doesn't feel anything like the source material and here comes here comes andrew finally we're getting that brash and kind of cocky this the whole concept of peter becoming spider-man and and being able to was because one under the mask he can let himself go get away from that his shyness and he could just be, kind of be free without ramifications of but now yeah and then T tom came along and yeah it's great i, I like that he could be serious, but Toby to me was just way too serious. It was just like, what, what's the fun? What's the joking around? What's the jokes?
uh, Quentin says, imagine this. Benson is getting mad of the Just League saving. And Benson will say, you destroyed the park. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, mm. It's sad that Saturday morning cartoons are gone. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it is. I wish they would bring them back, but, you know, it is. Yeah, there are a lot of plenty of things. I mean, mm -hmm. do you use, do you used to have a arrogant friend? I used to, to, he was so mean. He just, well, he was just, what time we'll play kickball? One time we play kickball. He didn't. He didn't help us. You just think you do better, and and you don't call him. Uh, I called him Damien. Okay. Uh, did I have an arrogant friend? And when I was in elementary school, yeah, there was. Well, it was a girl. Like she was kind of arrogant. Um, and also entitled like her name was claire i remember her name claire moskoff yeah and if she got things wrong she would go run just run out the classroom it's like third grade fourth grade she just go run out the classroom and go into the bathroom and just sit there and huff and puff and it, it was like what the she would just do that all the time and it was just like what's wrong with her like Stuff like that, yeah, I remember, yeah. Uh, wait. Okay, how do you think a scene of Nightwing confronting Spider-Man after Gwen's death would have gone down? I don't even want to think that. That that would be weird. I don't even want to think that. Favorite Universal Monster? Uh, well, I, I'm a big Wolfman fan. I've, I've always loved werewolves. Werewolves are my favorite, but the one... Universal monster I think people sleep on is the creature from the Black Lagoon. And he's got a comic coming out too. So yeah. Uh if Dracula lived in Outworld. Mm, I I was uh, I don't know. I don't think Batman would like Benson. What do you think? Nope. I don't think so either. Uh The original Metroid game. I will always love that. Where we didn't know if Samus was a male or a female. And then after that, you see, like, a female all the time. I don't think... Okay, I did that. Have you read the Universal Monster comic? If so, what are your thoughts? Are? They're coming out with uh, the Preacher of the Black Lagoon and stuff, so I'm looking forward to that. Angel, least favorite Marvel MCU project, uh, Thor, uh, Dark World. Hey, they, they, they fucked Malekith up. Like, they fucked 
they screwed over the Dark Elves big time. They messed that they messed that character up so badly. That that's another Thor villain that is big, and they screwed it up. That's why I always say, like, you want to see Malekith at his best? Go read the comics. That's when he's at his best. Uh, what episode of regular show of Benson made you mad? What episode when he when he make the one episode that wait hold on wait hold on wait. what episode of regular show of benson made you mad what the episode when he makes me mad was when he ate the cheeseburgers uh i i i talked about it the one episode that i i was when he you know he um uh, Rigby tried to eat that big omelet, and and he was and he got put in the hospital. And then you know, Morda and Benson saying all this stuff, and then Mordecai just slugged him, went bam, hit him. He's like, just punched him. I was like, yeah. And he's just like, what's your problem? Like he's like, it's this. It was just stupid as times. Uh, you hear? You ever heard? Uh, Godzilla versus. Frankenstein was pitched initially to the. That's dumb. He ain't even big enough. Godzilla will squish him. Uh, Jalen Bullseye Collins was good. Uh, favorite favorite what? <laughs> you, you didn't put the rest. Uh, do you prefer Popeyes over KFC? Are we getting food now? You you. I just finished eating. I'm sorry that I was eating, guys, on camera. I, I was just hungry. Um, I'd love me some food. I do. I, I if y'all want to start talking food, bring it on. I'm. I'll, I'll talk about food. Um, so, favorite. Uh, okay. Do I prefer Popeyes over KFC? Yes, I do. Um, I haven't had KFC in years. Um, there's a Popeyes like, not even three miles from me so yeah uh so yeah i do prefer popeyes uh malakef was way better in mc who's yeah who said that uh executive judge i hope i'm saying your name right yeah because they followed they were they why simple because they followed the source material better and it wasn't even the fact that when when they said malakef was going to be played by Chris Eisen, Eisen, uh, Eccleson, Christopher Eccleson, one of the doctors. I was like, oh yeah. I was like, great. And then that kid was like, what the fuck is this? It's like, nah, they fucked up the Dark Elves. Uh, how hard do you think it would, how hard do you think it would be to introduce Godzilla into the world of Kaiju number a eight? And how would you think? Um, nah, he he doesn't do, he doesn't need to be in there. That 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 world is different. Kaiju number eight's world is way different than because they the kaiju's in that are more of it's more like the kaiju's in kaiju number eight is more like um, Pacific Rim. That's kind of basically what it is. Have you ever read Tyke on Titans? A little bit, but I, uh, my, what I, okay. If you guys want to know like what mangas and stuff that I read, there's Chainsaw Man, I read. Fire Force, I read. Demon Slayer, yes. Uh, I leave out Dragon Ball and all that stuff because I do read those. Uh, uh, Juju Kaisen, uh, Kaiju number eight, uh, Spy X Family, um, uh, things like that. So those are some of the, the, the the mangas that I read. Um, what indie graphic novels do you do you like to see get animated film? Um, uh, 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 Radiant Black. Quinn, uh, have you? Have you heard that they may make a new live-action Peter Popeye the Sailor? I have heard that. Yeah, 
it's either animated or, or live action. I don't know. Dynamite Comics is bringing back Johnny Quest. Really? Interesting. Kid Convoy82. Any thoughts on the new X-Men? I Well, you need to go read, watch my video. I did a whole video. I did a whole video on the new era of X-Men. Where my friend Gail is writing one of them. Go watch it. It's it's up. Go check it out. Just go watch it, kid. It's up. Uh, funny, funny your moment in. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't watch the, I don't watch the the anime. I'm I'm still reading the manga. I'd rather read the manga before the anime. I'm not watching it. Uh, Disney's latest film has been bombs for being woke. There's that word again. Oh, gosh, fuck. Uh, going to call woke is just basically showing support of diversity and pride. Yeah, yeah. I, I, look, man, I get so tired of people using that word wrong and they don't really understand the, the meaning of it. If you don't use it and say it's woke because. Because and you got you got these got this idiot now um, who is like I think on the board who who basically saying like why do we need why do we need an all black cast or, or or things like that or why do we need all female it's like it's like shut up please you sound ignorant you sound like a one of those lame overzealous rich cunts that I can't stand like. Shut up. Can't with that guy. Shut up. Uh, which image character would you like to see get an animated stream sir? Image? I'll, I, like I said, Radiant Black would be because that's image. Uh, yeah, there you go. I'll just keep saying Radiant Black. Turning kid-friendly public domain characters into horror is a case of you just, you just, wait, hold on, I'm reading, I'm sorry, well, I'm reading it wrong. Um, let me see it again. Turning kid-friendly public domain characters into horror movies is a case of you just, you can do, you, wait, case of you just, you can do doesn't mean you should just be oh okay i see what you're doing. yeah i mean yeah I, I i don't care like there are so many characters that are almost about to go public domain and a lot of them are kid friendly characters and i just look at it i'm like why why are you turning up? winnie the pooh and not all of winnie the pooh characters are public domain tigger is not he's not public domain yet he's still he still has a uh, time to time to become public domain but I, I hate it. I was like, I was like, people were asking me, "Are you gonna watch?" It? I'm like, I ain't watching that. I'm like, what? I don't care. I don't care. I'm like, you you couldn't just come up with a, a scary, uh, like you wanted to use a bear or something like that. I just did. Uh, I Winnie the Pooh. Uh, who, and who doesn't like Winnie the Pooh? You know, Winnie the Pooh is he's one of the man's man. Like, I love Winnie the Pooh. Like, I. I mean, my, my favorite character is Tigger, but still, I love Winnie the Pooh. Like, come on. Uh, hold on. I think, man, it went up. I didn't even... Okay. I keep thinking I'm... Oh, a couple of... A couple of graphic novels I recommend are Skucky, The Dragon Path, Moth Keeper, Star Knight, and The Witches of Brooklyn. Interesting. Uh, do you remember what episode of Regular Show when Mordecai and Rigby got chased by Karen? Uh, I can't remember. I, I, I think I do. I can't remember. Rest in peace to Kira Toyama Sensei. Yes, indeed. Uh, will be missed. And found out, t turns out, found out 
I I thought I knew a lot about uh, Toriyama Sensei, but I was wrong. I did not know he was he had um he was a uh, autistic. I had no idea he was. Um, and look at what he did. He had autism. I was like, whoa! But look at him. And the fact that a lot of his earlier work, he got said no 13 times but never quit i like that uh there are too many ignorant arrogant and bigots idiots in america you ain't lying about that and i wouldn't be surprised because there's more uh red than blue oh are we getting po political i don't please don't try to don't bring politics in this i i try to keep politics out of my streams because i i don't want nothing to do with that. Uh, Quentin, I think that was the episode where... Okay, yeah. The lady boss. Okay. Uh, okay. Favorite Iron Man suit. Uh, his my favorite Iron Man armor. Um, the extremist armor is always going to be up there. I always like that armor. Uh, extremist armor. That was cool. Uh, Marion, uh, somebody, okay, rest in peace, Akira Tama. I hate seeing these public main characters be, be, being perverted. Yeah, uh, Rabbit is one of my favorite when they, oh, Rabbit, oh, yeah, Rabbit. Uh, yeah, public domain should not just be horror. Yeah, it's, I, I, my, my issue with that is that, why are you why are you turning these characters into horror characters that's my issue like even if they are public domain it's like you're taking a child's character a, a child a character that many kids may have grew up with and then you it's like it's like if somebody came out and did a a a, a flintstones and turn and had basically yeah, Fred was a fucking rapist or something. I'm like, what the fuck you doing? Like, huh? Like, I'd, I'd be pissed off. Like, wait, what? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Babe? He's a Fred's a child molester and all that shit. Like, but okay, yeah, all right, yeah, that that that's pretty funny. Yeah, 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 but that that's pretty funny, but. The way they rock a flock and them did it was, it it it, it was funny. Like I didn't mind it, but I was. It's funny because this group called Rock a Flocka, they did a basically Cookie Monster is like obsessed with. It's like basically if, if the Cookie Monster became obsessed with cookies and he just attacked anybody who had cookies, and so the Power Rangers came down <laughs> and they were fighting him, and it was pretty funny because. He was he, he would just chase him and then uh they tried to get in the megazone. He just kicked it and it was like Rawr! and he beat them up and then he he came right back to the girl who had the cookies and she tried to give him this and she he killed her. I was like, okay, I I, I know this is wrong, but it, it, I could not stop laughing at it because it was pretty funny. I'm like, it was it had me laughing, and, but yeah, because everybody talks about Cookie Monster. Like, does he got tapeworms or something? Because because he just he just eats the cookie. Cookie Monster is funny because when he eats the cookies, he just oh, and then just and it just, the cookie goes everywhere. It's like, did he really? How much of the cookie did he really eat? Like it's like that. It's like how much of the cookie did he really eat without? It it cracks me up. But yeah, like there's there's like, like this guy on YouTube that actually makes these animated animated like. Uh, cartoons and he turns your your favorite kids friendly car he turns them into creeps I think he did one on Spongebob and I'm like oh like stop like he looks creepy and he's just doing all it's just weird and it was the one where he made he made, and speaking of y'all giving thanks to Akira Toyama he made Goku into an abuser I'm like what the fuck is wrong with you why did you know I'm like stop stuff like that I'm like What's going on in your head? Why are you doing that? Why? Oh, you think it's funny? You want to mess with somebody's like favorite characters? Like that? That'd be like if someone turned 
someone took one of my childhood heroes, He Man, and turned him into he he went on a a, a, a spree of basically you know killing just just for the hack of, for the fun of it, or basically taking the sorceress and making her like stuff like that. I can't. Uh, this stuff pissing me off. Uh, any favorite episodes of Kids Next Door? Uh, I haven't watched Kids Next Door in a long time, but probably one of them is when they did the uh, the episode with the 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 X Men. They were <laughs> I forgot what they were called, but they were supposed to be like the X Men, but they were Christmas characters. And the one that was supposed to be like Wolverine, his his claws were candy canes. It was so funny. I was like, oh my god, I forgot the name of it. It was so funny. Let's crack it up with that. Yeah, the animated Winnie the Pooh films really do hold up for me. Yeah, a lot of animated stuff still holds up to this day. Like, like I'm hearing, for example, you want to know some another thing from my childhood? They seem to want to remake. They seem like they are going with it. I fucking hate it. The never-ending story. I'm like. Why? Why are you remaking that? And then somebody got to then they make up the excuse. Oh, but well, with the technology today, the technology today it would be it would look so much better. Fuck that. The visual effects. I am all about uh, visuals using practical effects. The Never Ending Story used a lot of that, and I loved it. That is one of my favorite movies. It was one of my favorite movies growing up. I still love it to this day. And to see some of the cast members as they, they've grown up. You're, even the woman who was the princess in that. You look at her and you're like, she hasn't aged a bit. She still looks. She she grew up into a very beautiful woman. You're like, wow, you still look. And, and stuff like that. Like, you know, nobody can ever say that seeing... Uh, when uh, uh, Treyu's uh, horse, die, um, that still gets me to this. I, uh, I still can't get over that. Like when he drowned in the in the, the the mud, I'm like, oh, don't. I still, even when I watch it now, I, I it still hits me. I become that little boy again. I'm like, oh, you know, I, I, I don't. I, people that. Just, Say I, I feel nothing when animals die. I'm like you, fucking wrong with you. Like, especially if they, they are close with that. Like, imagine it's not even imagine, but imagine Scooby Doo actually died in Shaggy's arms. You know how fucked up that would make me. I'll be like, oh no, come on, get that away. I don't want to see that. Like, I would hurt. That would legitimately hurt me. I would. I would feel very bad. Like they actually killed off scooby-doo like nah he's a fictional but yeah that's why once again going back to i am legend what did i just when he when samantha died after getting bitten by the the infected dogs yeah that hurt i'm like oh and he and the fact is he had to he will had to choke her out just to kill because she was turning and i'm like oh. you know that that's that's still messed up fucking sick man i'm sorry like anybody who got no feelings for you fucking idiots <laughs> you damn idiot you got no heart you got got no soul something wrong with you I can't with that man <clears throat> forget the name of that guy i i forget the name of that guy jalen who i'm talking about but yeah he takes cartoon characters and makes them creepy pastas and all this stuff and they look sick and like I said, he did one with Goku, and he was Goku was abusing Chi Chi. I'm like, you like this shit? What is so funny about what is this ain't funny? I'm like, stop. Uh, let me see. Where did label? Oh, Kids Next Door. I did that. Uh, getting tired of toxic fandoms. They turn everybody. Yeah, that does trip. Uh, I have autism too. Yeah, I, yeah, but yeah. Um, 
the Kira Tom and our autism. I that was I that was new to me. I was like, whoa. He... I also have on C. Uh, good, damn. Okay. See, Akira Toyama is an inspiration to you all. See that? That's a good inspiration to have. Uh, uh look at that. now, Marion. I do know you have. I remember you telling me. Uh, do you watch the show? What would you do? Yes, I do. I love that show. That is a great show. Um, uh, what would you do? Um, it is a very good show. Uh, it comes on ABC. Uh, wherever you are, I don't because here in New York, ABC is Channel Seven. Uh, so wherever you are, it, it, ABC may be different for you. But what would you do? I love that show. Is is John Kenyonis? He's a uh, he he's a he is the host of the show, and they they set up scenarios in areas, but it's real people. There are actors in there. They're the ones doing the scenario, but they take it. They take these scenarios from things that happen in real life and they see how people are going to react to it. So really good show. It gets it really it also really just shows in a sense not to give up on a lot of people it, like this world. Like there are still good people in this world. Like one of my favorites is whenever they they tap, they touch on um, uh, certain things like there was an episode where they shot it was uh, they shot right here in new york up in harlem uh in new york city for anybody who doesn't know harlem harlem is the upper you got manhattan the island of manhattan that upper part of manhattan that's harlem so they were in harlem and they had the scenario where the actress she was it was in basically an all black hair salon barber shop and uh one of the dudes who came in the actor is the barber she was the barber and the and the actors are was the client and his girlfriend his girlfriend was white and she is just the the hair the salon is just going on a tirade and just talking about like why are you why are you with a white girl and all that other stuff now the whole point is to see what people are going to do and people did not they did they reacted the right way they were like you know what's your problem like oh she you know and you know there was one girl that was just like you all right up here like she was just making her feel so comfortable it, see, the real people is cool and then but by the end of the episode you could see that it was having an effect on the actress who's trying to play that that role because she's in an interracial relationship herself so she's black and she's in an interracial so it was really good to see and then of course before it really escalates, that's when John Quinones comes out and says it's it's a it, they were acting, we're doing a scenario. There, there's some you go on the YouTube channel and you can see some of the past episodes. They're really good. Um, it really gives you a, a sight of like if you're starting to feel like people are all bad, this gives you very much a lot of hope. Like no, this is there's still some good people. They they touch on a lot of things like. Uh, one of, another one that I, I loved was um, the actress. She has uh, Tourette's. She she's an actress with Tourette's, and she they were in a, a ice cream shop. So when she ordered her her tics would kick in, and so her tics. Everybody who has uh, Tourette's, their tics are different. Her tics was when she would she would say something, she would. It almost sounded like she was laughing, so she would go, "Can I have ha ha?" And then she just does that. And so the other two actresses are kids, and they're making fun of her. And so they're like, "What are you doing? Like, are you what are you laughing?" And so they use that. And no, she was like, "No, I have Tourette's," and they're making it like that's not even a real. So we're seeing once again, the people in the ice cream parlor are the real people, and the cameras that you don't you can't see the cameras; they're hidden. But we're seeing what they all, what would they do? And again, people, you know, telling them, stop, stop laughing at her. She can't help it. That's, that's, it, you know, stop. It's not, no, it's a real, it's real. It's not made up. Look it up. You know, you know, people telling them like, it's not, it's, 
it's it's real you know and it it, it really touched me because it's like i know somebody who has tourette's and from when when i'm when i was with him you know there are times his his ticks are different so when he 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 has his tick it sounds like he kind of sounds like a he sounds like a dog like going oh, oh, like he oh, oh. and so and so i remember we were at ihop one time and he um in florida because that's where he lived in florida and when i was down there for a convention we were with him and and people were just looking and i'm just like looking at i was like y'all got a problem and i was like stop looking at him like that like you know tourette's i i and you know i i've always always felt bad for people who have that because they can't help that their ticks and even if they try they can hurt themselves like and each one is different so what would you do um colin is a great show um i i love i love that show a lot i really do love that show and i go back and watch on their youtube channel I watch it all the time i watch some of their episodes watch rewatch their episodes because it's really good and gives you a lot of hope that just showing like the human race is not as blind or dead or you know to what a lot of people think they are it really does and, and they touch on a lot of things like you know like the, I, i'll give you one more example um there was another episode where um uh there was another example of and this this was in the news like it was a ihop up in i think maine up in maine or so and somewhere up in new england and the the customer who was black they told him he has to prepay before he before he can get his order now when you go to any kind of restaurant or like that or you know your your applebee's or something like that you order and then they bring you the bill after so they played that scenario out and for real to see what would people do and the the actress again these actors are real good but you know she she you had these four these three kids they're black and she said hi my name is my name is bobby and i'll take your order just to let you guys know you're gonna have to prepay before and there everybody's just looking like what the what are you talking and there's one woman i'll never forget it watching that and she and she just stand there's a white woman and she's just watching them and she's just like why 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 do we have to pay and so she got up and went to the manager now the manager of there they they had an actress actor playing them so and then and then so she came back to the table with her daughter and she's like what are we back in the 1960s and so as soon as the the, the actress who was the waitress upped it again because there were two people that were just watching they were like no i'm not comfortable with that like why are you treating them like that and and she said well because i've had trouble with people like them and she said we mean people like them and she said you know and the woman again got she's like i'm out of here and, and that's when uh john kenyon's had to come out and say they're actors and she was like and then she explained herself she's like yeah my 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 heart is in my throat now she's like and she's like i thought we, we jumped back to the 1960s of being mistreated because they're black and all that stuff it was that was another good episode um so yeah like I do love what would you do. I'm sorry, guys. I I got on what would you. I I love that show. I really. If you've never watched it, I recommend it. I do recommend it. Uh, I do recommend uh, what would you do. It's a really good show. It gives you a lot of hope, and showcases that there are good people still in this world. Um, the people that they 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 show the actors, but everybody else who's in like in the restaurant or wherever they are they're real they're they're real people they don't know they're on camera until until the, he comes out and says so uh so yeah uh do you think uh this is from galactus uh do you think hannah barbera future would make a good animated uh yeah i think they they that the the, the that that uh that would be cool Qu future quest you mean yeah the, uh yeah uh, Dracula gets a pass even though he is in 
public domain because he he's meant to be hard. Yeah, that's different. Yes. Sorry. No. Dracula Dracula does get a pass because Bram Stoker, he's always been a vampire. Different. But when you take characters like Winnie the Pooh, I know they're doing something with Peter Pan next. You know, it's like turning him to horror. I think Bambi is next. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I don't, I don't want to see any. What are you gonna do with Bambi? Oh, he goes on a rampage because humans killed his. I swear to God, if that's what the <clears throat> what the story is, Bambi takes revenge on the pe- the humans that killed his mother. Yeah, I I could see that shit happen. Yeah, see, I don't know why I thought about that. Yep. A funny moment in the Pink Panther movies for you. I haven't watched the Pink Panther movies in a long time. You're talking about the originals. I haven't watched those in years. Uh, do you think Winnie the Pooh Demon Hunter uh, would would love to see that? I have that comic book. Uh, I I'm, I was a fan of. I I know the writer, and I'm a, I'm a ki- I'm a back a backer on Kickstarter. Again, they're not. Again, this is where it's different because. With that, they're not really changing the character so much as they're making him more of a hero, a, somebody, a protector. That's fine. But the horror is it's the horror aspect because he basically kills Christopher Robbins. It's like, what the? You know, why? What are you doing? It's stupid stuff. That's why I don't like it. But I know that most of those things would just stay what they are. I don't think so. I... I did not like Ultimate Blob from X Men. Oh yeah, you mean the Cannibal? Yeah, yeah. Fuck him. Yeah, fuck him too. Uh, I would, I would do a direct sequel to the original since the old sequels suck too bad. Uh, of what Warhawk? I don't, I don't know what, what sequels. Uh, will Scorpion ever be in Smash Bros? I doubt it. Uh, Angel, did you see the new Bad Boy? I just talked about that. When we started, I loved it. I thought it was great. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I wonder why they went this route of, you know, basically Captain Howard is on it. You know, they think he, he's being framed and he's not even around and he, he died. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Mount Vernon, uh, good to see you, bro. Uh, D Mike was good. Uh, what, Perry, what was your reaction? To seeing Ryu and Super Smash Bros. About time. Uh, what what will the blob from Marvel think of Muscle Man? I don't know. Blob is strong too. He's not weak. I think people mistake Blob for being like weak. He's very strong. You know, he's, ma- he's mainly impregnable to pain. But yeah, he's. I think he would laugh at him though. Uh, what are your favorite reaction channels? My favorite reaction channels. I uh, well, I, I do watch the react channel. I still watch the react channel. There's a they 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 change. They got like four different channels now. They do react. They do uh, food. You know, people versus food and all that. I watch all those. But um, in terms of reactions, like to movies, I have my favorite movie reactors. Uh, there's Alana Parker. There's uh, just some reactions. That's Emily and and her, her husband uh, Matthew. There's uh, Octacool with the brothers Chris and uh, the twins. I forget their name. They're from Canada. I like them. There, I got a bunch of and the and you could tell the ones that seem real. Here's my issue with movie people who are reacting to movies when they do this stuff. When, when I hear someone say they have never heard, like, okay, let's use one, something. They say, I've never heard of Terminator and never seen it. I, I call, I'll call you out. I'm like, you're a fucking liar. Stop. Unless you are from maybe another country. Okay. But if you ain't never heard of Terminator, I can, if you're from the States and you say, I've never heard of Terminator, I'm going I'm to look at you like, bro, you ain't never heard of Terminator. I can maybe understand you ain't never seen it, but you ain't never heard of it. 
that's that's that, that's like me that's like someone saying to me i ain't never heard of back to the future and ain't never seen it first one that's a that's a gut punch to me already you ain't never heard of it if you ain't never seen it that's another that's like that's like getting a one-two punch from mike tyson that's a knockout i'm getting knocked out yeah basically what i'm gonna say is i'm gonna sit you sit your ass down hey so do me a favor sit your ass down and watch it if someone says that to me that's like a punch in the gut that's that's hurtful that's why i get so <laughs> i think i've told this story like i get so defensive when i see people with t-shirts of like bands and stuff that like I, I'll, I'll call you out real quick i see you with a metallica shirt on i'll, I'll be like what's your favorite metallica song go and they say uh no i just like the shirt that's that's me i'm like and i gotta walk away because i'll 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 probably scream at one i'm like what the fuck like like don't why are you wearing it if you like i get it it's clothing i get it but it's like you you like the shirt because of what because it looks nice like that's how i see some of these kids now like they wearing the Navar N N nirvana shirts and stuff i'm like you even know who that that, that band you know what that band is you know oh you know you see michael jackson sir I like, what's your favorite michael jackson song go I, I i don't know him get out of your mind get out of your mind like that's me that's how i am i'm like i uh -uh. i get pissed off like that i do and and and, it's, and you know you can even say that a little bit when it comes to if you're wearing like a shirt of a, like a comic character and it's like are you a fan or you just you just think it's a cool shirt now most people who wear you know i'm not gonna go at like a kid like that like but no but it's just it, it when you're a grown person you, i'm like nah come on like don't don't wear metallica and you you ain't no fan so chill with that like yeah i'm wearing a cowboy bebop shirt i'm a fan it's not it's like i would never not wear something i'm not a fan of you know, I got my Metallica shirt. I got a Metallica shirt. It's in my drawer. But, but yeah, I, I'm like, yeah. All right. I got a, like, it's like wearing a, a Muhammad Ali shirt. And, and I'm like, okay, you're, if you're younger, you never heard of him. Okay, that's different. But if you're a grown person, like you maybe in your, your 50s, your 60s, you're wearing an Ali that says, I am the greatest. And you like, you like Ali? No. What? Get out of here. you know that's me you can laugh but i'm serious i i'm like that it's a part of that's where hurricane comes out see that's like a different side of me that i don't really i haven't shown him in a couple of years now i kind of got him a little bit under control under control yeah okay uh d mike d mike yeah d mike uh, was trying to watch a video you reacted to when it was creepy guys was in the woods and they came out in the dark it looked looked like the hills have eyes that that had eyes but it's gone yeah um yeah some of my my some of my reactions have been, uh, uh have been being taken down or they become um they become uh only for it's too mature for 18 year olds and stuff i've been getting word from a lot of like you know youtube will email me saying uh this now is shows abuse or something i'm like wait what like how's that abuse so i'll, I'll de debate it. that's why now for most part now guys um i'll let you guys know i will be i will be putting a, a lot of reactions on my patreon because a lot of my reactions are getting you know like oh yeah it's too graphic and it's the, i'm like i put that it's not for kids and the hell's wrong with you like dope you know, so yeah you know there are some people i mean and a lot of my scary stuff like i i like people ask me uh, here's a funny thing i i'm surprised nobody asked me about the the new aliens movie yeah uh yeah I, yeah i i tried i tried I tried to watch that trailer. Yep. That fucked me up big time. Yep. 
alien yeah the the, the 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 what's the first thing that come busting through the doors fucking face suckers i was like as soon as she ran th- and i'm like oh, God. i'm like oh fuckers like you fucking damn i can't i can't with them i the, out of all anything alien xenomorphs don't scare me but ever since i was a little boy face huggers scare the living shit up i am terrified i'm a grown man and i'm still scared like i don't i don't sugarcoat and i'm not afraid to admit it i'm scared to death of those things like i've told people many times if you ever try to throw one of those at me or or i'm i'm you're probably gonna get punched by me I, my brothers and all of them said yeah we were gonna get you a, a, a face hugger cake for your 40th birthday when i when i turned 40 i was like malcolm i said malcolm if you had i'd have threw that right in your face like don't play with me with that I'm legit terrified. Out of every fear that I had as a kid from movies, face suckers still creep me out. I cannot get over that. I have tried many times to watch. I don't know what it's just. They look like they look like thing from 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 Adam's family just mutated, and it fuck. I can't stand it. They just oh, they, I can't. And I, I'm thinking about it now, and I'm creeping myself out. And yeah, so when you watch that that alien, that new alien movie coming out, she, the girls running and what's chasing them? Fucking face our girls. And then at the end, that jump scare. I'm like, fuck y'all. I'm like, nope. So, ain't no. I don't ask me about that alien because I will not watch it. I'm not playing. I will not watch that. Nope. Nope. Not at all. Not not one bit. Fuck the face our girls. Them shits. Fuck them. I I will not watch that shit. I'm not even joking. Y'all can laugh all you want, but I'm not. No, no way. No way. Yeah, never ending story. Oh, yeah, never ending story. Oh, thank you. Okay. Uh, what time is it? Oh, we good. We good. All right. Um, Marion, uh, the moment when the chief gets hurt every time he interacts with the detective in Pink Panther makes me, cracks me up. Oh, okay. I see. Uh, thought about uh, the next. Uh, a Fatal Fury game. I'm all for that. I'm a big Fatal Fury fan. I'm good to see SNK bringing out something more than just King of Fighters. I've been saying that for years. Are you familiar with the channel Cine Therapy? If so, uh, you should enjoy it. Is that Cine Pals or Cine? Because uh, I, I watch them Cine Pals. Uh, I gotta check. Maybe I'll check it out. Uh, who will win in a Food eating contest, Wario or the Blob Blob? You ain't beating a Blob in an eating contest. Uh, you like KBD Productions TV for food reviews? Uh, you, you I do love food reviews. I, 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 I watch. Who, who do I watch a lot of? Um, you know the channel Jolly. I like them because they're they're two boys from brits that go around and try a lot of foods and because they you know look i i i never knock any culture's foods i have had once when again when i was in florida i've had a full english breakfast i've had that i've i and and the british do like to eat a lot of beans i like beans too like i i mean you know pork and beans and stuff like that so yeah i I bake beans. I like all that stuff, but they do they do some in, interesting dishes with beans, um, and so Jolly is one of them. They but they'll have like high school kids from the UK try a lot of stuff here in the states, and the one thing that you, you'll you'll always notice when people from different countries, maybe Europeans, so when they try snacks from the United States, they they just tasted the sugar and i'm like yeah i get it you know not everything is that sweet where they come but i for example i still like i still plan and i will not i still plan to do a, a food review um of uh australian snacks including vegemite i will i will i will eat vegemite on camera i will do that because i still want to try tim tams I, I can I will not I will not I I need to try a Tim Tam 
because I hear those are just some of the greatest snacks in Australia, and I, I need to try that. So yeah, so I see a couple. Of, I see a lot of boxes that have like different snacks from Australia that I, I will try. That'll probably be the next uh, try video I do. Uh, you know, UK um, uh, Australian snacks. Um, but I, I do love food reactions. I do all that. Stuff. I I love food. So <laughs> who doesn't? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But has Superman ever fought Black Adam? If so, yes, they have. They fought. They actually fought. Yes, they did. They did fight. Uh, and how did he fare? It was kind of back and forth. Because remember, he's magic. Superman is weak against magic. Uh, you've ever, you've been a fan of Conan the Bar Barbarian since the first movie. Yes, that was the very first movie I actually saw as a kid, Conan the Barbarian. And it was from there that I started to look more into the character and the, the creator of Conan, Rob, Rob, Robert E. Howard. You know, Conan is probably his most lucrative and most money-making character, but Mr. Howard had had other characters. I mean, Solomon Kane, all those characters, you know, those are those are his. But yeah, I've been a yeah, Conan was that was the first movie I ever saw. Anybody who have asked me, like, can you do you remember the first movie you ever saw? I'm like, yep, Conan. They're like, really? Like, yeah, you can remember that? I'm like, yep. I get my good memory from my mom. My mom was a good memory. She, so yeah. Uh, uh, have you seen Ice T? movie surviving the game yes i have i like that movie uh, that was a good movie with him bill pullman all those characters yeah rucker rucker hauer was in that yep that was a good movie where he was he was a homeless guy basically basically surviving the game was um one of my favorite van damme movies um uh i'm about to get up and go look for it. uh i forgot the name of the damn Oh, damn it. Okay, now I gotta go look it up. <laughs> uh, 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 let me see, make sure. Uh, hard target. There we go. Yeah, so I have, I have, uh, I have. Uh, so that's what that was kind of like. Ice T was in there. He was homeless though, and he he survived these 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 hunters that were they would hunt homeless people. Or just, it was a good movie. It doesn't get talked about very much. Have you read the Avatar comics? I have them from Dark Horse. Yes. Oh, okay. Um, I could make a Helen. Lovejoy joke about that, and I'm a Christian. <laughs> be, be it. I am a moderate, moderate one, but still, yeah. Uh, the Ultimate Hulk. He was a cannibal. Yeah, yeah. I didn't like that either. Uh, do you think it's okay to be older and still have toys and plushies? Well, you can't really see, but. Who's that? Yeah. Underneath that hat over there, that's my Godzilla. To the right. Well, you can't really see it because I got the camera. There's a, a, a Link toy. There's a Superman Muhammad Ali toy over there. Behind me. Behind up there. I got a Spider-Man up there. You can't really see it because uh, I put the, the blurriness on the camera. Uh, there's a Mega Man as a Bruce Lee toy, as a Spider Man and Dark Hawk toy up there. I still have toys. I still, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, I yeah, ain't nothing wrong with it. You know, you collect them. I mean, see, <laughs> as much I got that. I mean, yeah, I I still want to collect some things. I got there's some things I haven't even opened up. You know, you know, yeah, ain't nothing wrong with it. Like. If that's what makes you like, look, I tell people all the time. Yes, I still read comic books. 
been reading them since I was eight years old. Why? They kept my ass out of trouble. So when I hear kid, I know I've had people say to me, Chris, you still do that stuff? Or Chris, you still watch wrestling? Like, I'm like, yeah, why not? What's wrong with it? You still play video games? Yeah, why not? What's wrong with it? You know, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that. The, my, my hob, the hobbies I did as a kid, I still do. I still do. They make, they keep me grounded. They, they make me who I am. I have nothing. I don't, I don't care what anybody says now. Like, I don't care what you say. If you, you say, man, you, you hey, that's tough for kids. I'm like, okay. So, like, so far I've never been, uh, I've never been judged for cosplaying and I do that a lot and, you know, and if somebody ever start judging me for cosplay, I'm like, I'm gonna just look at you like, what's your problem for that? The point about it is you ain't never too old for that. My grandfather, God bless him soul, he, he passed away. My God, my grandfather was in his 70s because he died in his, he was 80, I believe. Yeah. He was blind, but he still would listen to Bugs Bunny and all of them. And he knew all the cartoon, he knew them. He was just like, he was just, and he would come in and he's like, what, what part is it on, Chris? And I'll be like, what? He's like, is Bugs Bunny doing this? Because he knew him already. So he knew him and he just, I'm like, yeah, how'd you know that? And he's like, well, you, my, my grandfather was born before the turn of the century, like 1919 when he was born. So he saw all those characters come up. So yeah, it's like, yeah, you know, he, he was still watch it. He didn't care just what it is it's like you're never too old people want to grow up so fast or or they they want to let go of what made them who they are i hate that i hate when people say i'm, I'm too old for this never too old. stop with that don't give me that garbage i hate that i hate it i hate it i hate it There's nothing wrong with plushies or care bears or all that other stuff i don't like I don't even get on guys who are bronies. If you're a brony, you like you like my little pony, and but you're a guy, I got no problem with that. I don't do it. I don't watch it. That's not for me, but I got no problem. I got a couple of friends that are bronies. I don't joke with I'm like, man, shut up. You watch my little pony. No, I don't I'm not like that. What voice do you hear in a Thor comic book? Uh I do hear John Race Davis, who voiced him in the in the '90s when he guest starred on like the Hulk cartoons. You know, I do hear him. If you don't know who I'm talking about, go watch like, you know, Fantastic Four '90s when Thor was on there. That that guy who voiced him there, I love that too. Um, I'm still figuring out why do we have disown hope sometime of financial yeah uh red beans and rice with cornbread slamming uh i do like me some red beans and rice um if i'm eating red beans and rice i'm i'm usually i'll have it with like a chicken or something cornbread i i just ate some cornbread i, I, I had fish i had whitings tonight and uh I had cornbread with that so yeah uh I do love food, man. Like I can go, like somebody asked me once before, um, I'm speaking to D. Uh, somebody asked me before, um, like, what's your favorite pie? Like, is let me guess, apple. I'm like, no, it's not apple pie. I like apple pie, but it's not. My favorite pie is, is, is key lime pie. I love key lime pie. I, I love that. And if you, if it's not key lime and people ask me, and then it's the other one is like, what do you what is what do you like better sweet potato pie or or pumpkin pie i said dude i'm black what do you think <laughs> what do you think we don't eat pumpkin pie we 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 sweet the, the the cousin to pumpkin pie the the longer older cousin sweet potato pie i no, no the, every holiday my family when the pies come out there's no pumpkin pie it's sweet potato pie we don't we don't we don't get down on pumpkin I'm not a big fan of pumpkin pie anyway. I've had it, and I'm just like, okay, it's no, it's not better than sweet potato pie. You know, 
I like pumpkin pie. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I mean, I don't. I like apple, but key lime. When I've had key lime, I had key lime pie for the first time. I was like, I was in heaven. I was like, I like the sweetness and the tartness to it, the graham to it. I was like, yeah, this works. And then I was like, but I gotta have authentic from the Key West because that's where it comes from. So I was like, yeah. And now I'm obsessed with anything key lime. I'm not even joking. I'm dead serious, but. I'm kind of obsessed with anything. If it got if it says key lime, I'm gonna eat it. You want you don't want proof? Look, I I could share right now. Like one of my snacks that I have <laughs> is uh is a uh, wafer cookies. And what does that say? You can't really probably can't read it. It says key lime on it. Is is key lime? Is these like wafer cookies? It's key lime. But I, I'm obsessed with. I'm obsessed with if it's yogurts, Greek yogurt. Key lime, I'll eat it. If it's if it's candies and stuff, I will eat it. I got so obsessed with key lime. I I, I love key lime. Uh, so, uh, what is your favorite British Marvel character? Uh, I will probably yeah probably will say well, I I could say Psylocke because Psylocke is actually British. She's the she is the brother the twin. She is the twin. Sister to Captain Britain, Brian Braddock. So yeah, you kind of say that. Uh, yeah, people think Psylocke is is Asian. She's not. The the body she was in at one point. Yeah. You no, know, Cine th is, is a channel where a licensed therapist and filmmakers watch movies to break down the thing. I've heard of them. Um, when it comes to like doctors, when it comes to like channels that are with real doctors there's one uh, i love dr mike if you you know him i love him he's great i like dr wagner he's great he reacts to a lot of and he breaks down you know like he'll watch he and his his lovely wife his wife is gorgeous his wife they'll watch you remember the show um a thousand ways to die well she used to be an actress on that show and so they'll watch and react to the episode and then she'll she'll he'll break down like okay that you won't die from this really this this would never really happen he, he breaks down because he's a he's an emergency doctor so um i like the breakdown from um gq and they, they get off real people who are like experts one of my favorites is a doctor called atalo brown real good and this dude he breaks that he, he he will watch scenes from different movies like he was watching um like like if nobody you know everybody's probably seen scarface right the end part where he's scarface fighting all the gangs and he's getting shot up and he's like okay he would have been dead right there like and and he goes into detail like he got hit in the upper thorax and all this stuff that that's he's dead like he's dead like it, it's stuff like that i love those i love the reaction to that like or um, there's a, even when they get, um, on a gameology, they'll have real people come in. Like there's a, like the cop, uh, like I remember there is, um, Chris, the cop. He, I like Chris, the cop. He's great. And he's a real cop and he, and he breaks down the realities of being a cop. And, and he tells his story of like what he was, cause he's a SWAT commander now, but he plays a lot of games and he, he, and he would react, he was reacting to like. You know, uh, Red Dead and all these games and that have cops and they're just breaking it down. Like, okay, this I love. G, uh, they would have like real soldiers coming and react to like Call of Duty and um, you know scenes like in Call of Duty. Remember the clean room when they were when they were in the night vision and they were take take it out. Just how real that was. They were saying, okay, yeah, that's real. We do that drill all the time. Like no shoot. We we're looking at our hands. Like there's a scene where. They were like, don't move. And she's like, I didn't do it. And she's looking back and she keeps looking back. And and then uh, Commander, uh, uh, he says, drop her. And he just shoots her. And then and the, the experts, they ask, so would that be real? Would that would you have taken a shot? He's like, yep. Because, you know, she's she, she's she got her hands up, but she keeps looking back. And then she tries to reach for something. Yeah. And it's, I love stuff like that. I love experts. It's called experts react. I love stuff like that. So, yeah. I do love seeing that. And uh, so, yeah, 
there, there are a lot of react channels i do watch and even just reactions like um you ever heard of the tri channel because I'm, I'm i'm talking to angel this this is directly to angel called the tri channel and the tri channel is a channel based out out of dublin and everybody on you know is from ireland and they try dishes they it's first it started out as a channel called facts and the channel's still up but it's changed and they would try a lot of these would try things from america and things like that and then then it moved to the tri channel and they still do everything like and it's really cool it's fun you you if i do recommend it because you you'll fall in love with a lot of the, the contributors it's kind of like buzzfeed just it's based in ireland it's so cool and if you love an irish accent you know, you'll love it even more because that's me i love an irish accent let's go uh uh, have you ever read the Thulsa Doom miniseries by Dynamite? Yes, I have. That was good. I actually bought that for somebody, too. Uh, the first Conan movie came out in 1982. Uh, uh, 1982. Yes, it did. Mm-hmm. Uh, my favorite Van Damme movie was Lionheart. Lionheart was fun. I, I did and liked that too. Uh, Van Damme does not get enough credit that he deserves. Uh, he I love Van Damme. I always had love for Van Damme. Um, you know, uh, he's, he's kind of very picky now about the movies he chooses, but that's fine. I don't mind that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, Bloodsport. Who doesn't love Bloodsport? I mean, come on. Even though that was a bunch of bullshit, that it, that is not real. For anybody out there thinking Bloodsport was real, even though it says based on a true, Frank Dukes is a piece of shit. He's he's bullshitting you. Don't believe what he what he says. Frank Dukes is bull. He's he's a full. He's full of shit. Not he, he talks about there was a full contact sport. Now nah, that never happened. None of that happened. He's a liar. Uh, but Bloodsport and Double Impact and and uh, Cyborg and you know all all, all of Van Damme's early Universal Soldier. To this day, his best performed movie in theaters is Time Cop. That that made the most money of all his movies that came out in theaters. Time Cop is his, is his and that's based off a comic too. So and I, I like Time Cop. That was that was a good movie. Uh, I collect action figures. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with it. I still have, I still play. There, there ain't nothing wrong with playing video. I'm telling you, like, you'd be surprised that some of these, these older seniors that play video games, like there's a, a woman that she, she's like video game granny. She's, she's on like World of Warcraft and all these other games. You play, I'm like, go ahead. Uh, I remember being criticized as a kid for my hobbies, and it's dumb. Dude, you know, having hobbies is nothing wrong with having hobbies. Can you actually play as Van Damme in Mortal Kombat? Yeah, um, he his there's a skin. It's Johnny Cage, but it, it's it's him as Johnny Cage. It's actually his voice and everything. Yeah. I'm 37 and still collect comics, play video games, watch cartoons. Most of the cartoons are from the 80s, baby. Yeah, that's right. I'm 18 and I still have figured, yeah, nothing wrong with that. The only toys I collect are Funko. I cannot mess with those things. I buy those for friends. I don't like Funko. Funko Pops, they creep me out because they're the black eyes. And I'm like, man, these toys are the devil, man. Get these things. They're like, They look like your favorite the devil. Like, nah. Uh, nice. Uh, what's your favorite lines of Optimus Prime? That's hard to say because depending on which Optimus Prime we're talking about, you know, 80s, you know, we talking, we talking G1 Optimus or we talk, you said Prime. Yeah, I said, yeah, I mean, there's, you know, when it comes to Peter Cullen doing that voice, that is Optimus. It's like nobody does it like Peter Cullen. Mr. Cullen does that voice 
you know, when he's just like Megatron, you know, Megatron, or Autobots, you know, roll out, and uh, that just that always will get me. Autobots roll out. That I love that noise. Uh, uh, even when even in the even the movies, even though I don't like the the Bay movies, but hearing Peter Cullen say, "One shall stand, the other shall fall," I'm like, uh, yeah. I hated I hated Optimus in the the second movie because I'm like, that's not op- he, Optimus. Sounds bloodthirsty. He's not a he's not that's not how Optimus is. You know. That's why I don't like Bay's movies too much. I'm like, fuck that baby. Uh so Chris, uh is the fake gene evil since the old gene is back? So Madeline Pryor, that's her clone. The, that is that is Cable's mother. So for anybody who doesn't know, Cable his dad is Cyclops. That's real. But his the but his mother is not Jean. It's actually her clone, Madeline Pryor. Um, she becomes she's still around to this name. Now she be she be rolling with um with uh, Ben Riley, you know, uh, Peter's clone, and they like join forces. It's crazy. It just shows like she's still around. She was called the Goblin Queen. She's also called the Goblin Queen. She she does turn evil. She turns. And it makes me wonder, will she turn? How quickly will she turn in in the show? Um, but yeah, but I, there are a lot of kids. The, the, Stott and them have a lot of kids, but, you know, then there's Rachel. Rachel Gray is Jean's daughter and Cyclops. And, you know, there's so many kids. They got a bunch of kids. But he, so, yeah. But she's she is kind. Of, uh, have you seen the movie The Blob? It came out. And I they I've watched all the Blob movies, the original from and the the remake. Uh, sick. Uh, I heard of the Tri Channel. I've seen some of their videos. I really do enjoy them. Yeah, the Tri Channel is fun. I love that. I, I watch. They could they they make video. They have they upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So. I love that they keep that schedule. Uh, I heard Frank Duke is a is a bullshit uh, artist. That's, that's right. Yeah, Warhawk he is. He's full of shit. He's full of shit. He's a everything. If you watch Bloodsport, because Van Damme and that plays plays him. He he basically gave the script to Bloodsport. Basically say basically he basically explained that this happened to him. He he went overseas somewhere. And he was in this full contact sport, like this full contact, like tournament out in the middle of nowhere, like where nobody can find it. They made it seem like it was in Hong Kong and all that stuff, but it was bullshit. And they, they go on record and say he had the fastest knockouts, all this other bullshit. He's a fucking liar. Don't don't believe anything because he, he's a liar. The movie's great, but it had he's a fucking liar. Frank uh, Frank Duke is a liar. He's a liar, and he know he is. Uh, I wish Bloodshot got a sequel. Uh, a Sally we won't get. Sally, I I didn't care for it, and I love Bloodshot. He's one of my favorite Valiant characters. But they fucked that movie up. That movie was gonna go nowhere because they they just ruined that character. It's like why did you not just keep true to the source material anyway i didn't mind that vin diesel was a character i'm like but he could have you could have made him silver and all that stuff like what stop don't do that like i hate when they they don't stay true to the even though it's an independent comic but it's like yeah we may not and and that's why i wonder now if will we ever get the the shadow man series um movie that's supposed to come out you know, I wanted to see the Valiant characters get shine too. And I they it's just, you know, the Eternal Warrior, Exo Man of War, um, Ninjack, Livewire, uh, Harbinger, all those characters. There was supposed to be a bunch of them that was supposed to get films. 
uh happy birthday uh just saw frozen today and it was okay uh but i think afterlife is better uh this is coming from someone who has never seen the original okay uh i've heard people like the movie they they liked it it was some people say it was okay but i i don't trust ign i don't trust nerdist i don't trust any of them sites like those you can say whatever you don't don't get out of here i don't believe none of them like i'll see it for myself van damme and seagal were big and then i hate steven seagal steven seagal can kiss my ass steven seagal i is a piece of shit too he he's such an arrogant prick i can't with him Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, hell, I can't stand, I can't stand him like at all. What the hell was in that pen? Oh. Um, what is Muscle Man's power level? I don't know. Probably twenty nine. He probably is weak as he's probably he probably may be stronger than Yajirobe, but not so much. Uh, I actually rewatched Aladdin last Saturday. I love Aladdin. We talking live action or original? Uh, what time? Are we good? Uh, we get ready. Uh, John, what is your opinion on last night's Raw? Uh, I I thought it was great. It was probably the best Raw in a long time. I just talked about that. Um. Uh, so yeah. Uh, where, where we at? Uh, oh, okay. I hope I hope they make Tekken Nine. Most likely they will. They'll keep going. Uh, the movie Pure Luck with Danny Glover. That was a funny movie. I don't think I've seen that. Uh, John. Um, I would love to see a a Velvet movie, but who would play her? Ah, Velvet. That's an image. That's a that's that would be a period piece movie. Um, yeah, that is tough because she's she would be an older character. She's an older woman, you know. She's secretary, but she's actually a spy herself. So it's kind of cool. Uh. I've been playing Tekken 8 right now, and I'm playing as King. I love it. Cool. Uh, Jalen Bullseye Collins, favorite side dishes? Food question. Oh, boy. Okay. Um. Well, okay. Well, I, I, I'll side dish definitely. I, I will tear down on some mac and cheese you know that's so that's the uh candy yams or you know i love candy yams or sweet yams um always will have some mashed potatoes <laughs> don't make me um it depends on what i'm eating so you know i do eat rice a lot so like if it's like if okay let's say if i'm, I'm eating baked chicken or something my my go to for baked chicken would be mac, mac and cheese, and candy yams. That's always gonna be a case. Um, if it's if it's something like uh, like mm, like uh, like fish, okay, fish example, which I do. I love seafood. If it's fish type of fish I like salmon or something because I it'll probably be rice or somewhere else like that so yeah those are a couple of favorite dishes I love uh he's right uh Steven Seagal is a very arrogant plus he he hates on but yeah he hates on anybody and, you know this is the same guy that talked about he he fought Bruce Lee I'm like how the fuck you fight you how old is you you and he, you ain't that old to have met Bruce Lee. Get the hell out of here. You get out of here. Um, 
you know, he'll hate on anybody. Like, it's just ridiculous. He got choked out by, like, Gene LaBelle. Like, any stupid. Um, I, like, don't be throwing some hate. Like, I think he, 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 he said some hate on Chuck Norris. Like, fuck you. Go fuck yourself. You ain't nowhere near Chuck Norris. Leo. Chuck is in his 80s now. And he's, man, still look like he fight somebody out. I, I wouldn't fight him. Uh, Tekken is good. I I am law main. Okay. Uh, who's your favorite Tekken character? Horong. Because I practice the same. I practice the same style that he. Any party who who practices Taekwondo, I'm always gonna be like, yeah, okay. So yeah. Uh, which Mortal Kombat character do you not get? Does not get enough love, dude. Uh, Striker. There you go. Strike, Curtis Striker. A lot of people hate that character. Original line. Okay. Uh, which Darkstalker character do you like? Do you not like? Darkstalker character I do not like. Um, I really don't play with Arcanus, the, the mummy. I really don't play with him too much. Uh, you like Gumbo? I've had Gumbo. I've had Gumbo. I've had Gumbo. There's a, a, a restaurant not too, like, a block from me called uh it's it's a like a it's based on like louisiana creek uh, louisiana dishes and they they do gumbo there gumbo's good uh top your top six mortal kombat characters scorpion number one number two sub-zero number three johnny cage number four luke kang number five kenshi number six is uh so you blade you go uh i love the u.s zilla and kong movies but after minus one i want a collaboration with japan <laughs> that'd be interesting uh who can can't forget it? oh yeah the sega aladdin game that, that was fun uh why striker always dies why people hate him he's out of all of the Mortal Kombat characters he is he's just a cop in a sense like that's that's kind of general the general basis of I think it's just he's a cop he's it's like uh, you know you can say well, well Johnny Cage is an actor but he's got style you know he's, so it is what it is uh So yeah, it is what it is. Uh, let's see who else we got here. Uh, Quentin says, "Oh no, uh, Jalen Bullseye Collins again." I like. First of all, are you a fan of Jalen? I'm actually. You, do you like Bullseye the character? Is that why you put that name in there? Because that's because I, I kind of see your your thumbnail. It looks like it's Bullseye on there. But uh, favorite Mega Man game, Mega Man Two. Love that game. That's my favorite. That's one of my favorites. Uh, let's see. All right, what there we go? Okay, good. Uh, yes, I love Bullseye, my favorite Daredevil villain. Okay, okay, I love me some Daredevil. He's my favorite, he's my number two favorite Marvel character of all time. I do love the man without fear. Uh, ever seen any of the studio i believe i have i can't remember i think i did uh john are there any monst monsters you want to see in the monsterverse that are that are not there yet yeah destroyer i want to see destroyer so badly uh my favorite spider-man villain is carnage cletus cassidy okay uh, is that shirt supposed to be an homage to the Beatles? No, 
It's supposed to be an homage to the gorillas. Their Demon Day Demon Day album. It's Cowboy Bebop, but it's, it's not them. Uh okay. So uh <clears throat> see what else we got before get ready to wrap this up guys but yeah it's been fun it's cool uh jalen again asks his favorite spider-man villains i'll give you at least my top five uh on number one craven number one craven number two uh mysterio number three is um is 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 hobgoblin number four dr octopus and number five is that's where the green goblin come in but my number one overall favorite spider-man villain is craven the hunter Yeah, yeah, Venom is not in my top five. He's, he's not. I, I like Venom, but he's not in my top five. Uh, you ever watched World's Dumbest? Yep, I've watched all those. <laughs> those are funny. How how you feel when you? How did you feel when you graduated? I uh, felt a sense of accomplishment that I did something. You know, so yeah. Uh. Yeah, surviving the game was a good movie. Ice T uh, should have won an award. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, let's see. All right. Let's see what else we got. I uh, actually just got Akira on DVD. Oh boy, you better when you sit down and watch Akira, you better sit down and watch it because I'm telling you right now, if you go somewhere. You are not going to know what the hell is going on if you don't watch that from the beginning to the end. Akira is a great movie. It's It's been referenced so many times just by one scene, really. The whole... Mm, everybody does that scene. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't see it I don't see it as Venom as a villain. I'm, I see him as an anti-hero. Well, he started out as a, vi a villain, so you kind of got to put him there. He was. He started out as a villain. He was a villain. He was stalking Peter for for and making his life and scaring Mary Jane. Like, yeah, he was, that's a villain. You no, he ain't he an anti-hero now, but he's a he's a he's a he was a villain. When he first came out, they made him off like he was like Michael Myers. It's sick. Uh, I need to start watching anime again. And nothing wrong with get a Crunchyroll account and start watching it. I hope the X Men are great in the MCU. As uh, as a man with a disability, I want to see more representation for those type of characters. And uh, yeah, uh, what do you? Th uh, what would you do for? I don't care. I don't care. I'm. I don't. I'm not a fan of any of the Venom movies. I don't like anything Sony does with the Spider-Man characters. Outside of the 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 animated stuff with Miles, everything else is just dog shit to me. Some of the stuff the Venom, I to me, they casted the wrong person as Carnage. I love Willie Harrelson, but he was not Carnage. I'm like, that's your Cletus Cassidy. Y'all should have had Matthew Lillard play that character. Matthew Lillard was the perfect actor for Cletus Cassidy. And it goes all the way back to his role in the first screen. He was Cletus there. I was like, yeah, he's that's Cletus Cassidy right there. They they ruined that. Um, I'm just not a fan of it. I, I don't like Tom Hardy as Eddie Brock. 
I'm like, he looks nothing like Eddie Brock. I'm like, he, he feels like he's always drunk. And he's just like, yeah. Like, I, I just am not a fan of it. Not a big fan. Not at all. You know, to me, people forget that Eddie is a big dude. He's a, even without the sim, he's a big dude. And they, they lost. That's why I said if, if they wanted, if Alan Richardson wanted to come play another character, I would choose him. Um, peace and blessings to you, my runner, uh, and chatting. I'm going to, uh, down. okay, cool. Thank you, D. I appreciate coming through. I'm about to wrap this up myself, guys. So get your last questions out. Uh, so Warhawk says the Madam Web movie is a prime example of just lazy half ass cashing it. Um, yeah, I, I've said this before, and I get I get a lot of flack from what I say about it. But look, just because Sony, you still own the movie rights to Spider Man, doesn't mean you could just you could just throw characters out there. See, they throw characters out there just. They throw shit out there. Just see what sticks. And they're like, oh, Madam Web. Oh, look. Who asked for that? Nobody. Nobody fucking asked for a Madam Web movie. Nobody. Nobody. Nobody asked for that. Nobody asked for that. But because that's why people we say people say all the time, just give Marvel the rights back. But you know the reason why they won't? Because they know if they do, they got nothing. They got nothing. They got nothing. The great Marvel movies that the, the Spider-Man movies that they have collaborated with it because of Marvel helping them. That's why they're good. That's why they're good. Morbius was a fucking was crap. I don't like the Venom movies. There are certain parts that I like, but not all of it. Madam Web, I wasn't even going to waste my time on it. Even the trailers alone didn't give you a clue what this was about. And from what I hear, them in the costumes, that didn't even really... It's like, whatever. Um, Michael Myers is my favorite slasher villain. Michael Myers is the only slasher horror icon that actually literally legit scares me a little bit. And there's a reason for it, because he is legit real. He, he's somebody that you could see like yeah i could see somebody like that there's probably some psycho out there like that uh happy easter dude. well yeah easter ain't till sunday but yeah uh so with that being said guys we just hit the three hour mark i want to thank everybody for chilling with me and hanging out with me for three hours uh i appreciate the love as always thank you again uh, don't forget to uh, hit the like button again. I appreciate that as always. It helps with the algorithm, you know, uh, and it helps to keep growing the pack. The pack is growing. It, uh, I checked and I gained 25 more members of the pack. So to all the new people of the pack, thank you very much. I enjoy the ride. Uh, but outside of that, guys, you guys take care. I will be back next month with another open mic at the end of april and with that being said peace and love stay tuned keep it real guys i'll catch you guys down the road deuces